Hello, hello, hello. Hey there, Joe. Enjoy your lurk, and I will see you soon, hopefully. But you're going to have to bear with me for just two seconds here, everyone, because Streamlabs is being an absolute bitch tonight and would not, would not agree as to whether my webcam was in sync or not. So I'm just going to, you're going to get a little bit of double audio while I actually watch the stream. Give me a second. No, good, good. I thought it wasn't. It was on its general settings, like the ones it's normally on. But it was saying, no, this no, this is this is well out of sync. So I, I look, put it where it wanted to be. I put it there. And I said, right, you know what? Fine, I'll trust you, Streamlabs. I'll trust that you know what you're talking about. Streamlabs knows absolutely nothing about what it's talking about. Absolutely nothing. Right. There we go. Right, I'm just going to cycle the camera back to where I think it should be, in my professional opinion and we'll see whether that fixes it so two seconds it might take a moment to actually catch up and do what it's supposed to be doing professional opinion. We'll yeah see that fixes it. yeah that is so much better streamlabs is talking utter shit what god fucking that damn it dave Sorry, that, that was an entirely different thing. It's like Respawn Entertainment was supposedly making an announcement, and then they're just like, "Ah, sorry, we're moving it back to 5 p.m. EST." And I don't even know what that means. I'm in a, I'm in a bloody different. Ugh, hang on, hang on. Just give me, give me two seconds here. We're in no rush tonight. Like I reckon it's going to take about two hours to finish. So, 5 p.m. EST in GMT. I don't know what that means. 10, 10 o'clock. Fair enough. Hey, possibly around the time we'll be uh, polishing off the last of this game. So, fantastic. Might be well in time for that. I'm sorry, anyone who's not used to these streams must be wondering what the balls is going on right now. Yes, this is normal. Um, yeah, that looks so much better. Right, I'm going to go with that. The camera is going to drift anyway. There's nothing I can do about it. The processor is probably already starting to overheat. Right, let me make sure we're on the right. Yep, got the right thing queued up. Ooh, take the top off my water. There we go. Coffee is within reach. Still a bit warm. And let's jump into this game, shall we? So we are jumping straight back in. Um, I believe. Oh, I was going to say I believe there are people here that we're supposed to be dealing with, but maybe talking bollocks. Right, what have I got? Oh, I've got a sniper rifle. Even better. Okay. Um, suspicious as fuck because I'm sure there are people here, but here we go. Yeah. Yeah, come on. God fucking damn it, Dave. Also, what do you mean the dual shot batteries? Like, I charged you. I literally just. I mean, Elaine. Elaine is doing her thing. I'm very impressed with whatever Elaine is doing. I should probably help her. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, I will deal with the dual shock issue in a minute. Well, we'll see how it is. That's the first time it showed up. It, that might just be a delayed notification, hopefully, for when it wasn't charged. I don't think that's a thing, but. Just. There we go. I do like this shotgun pistol. But yes, our goal for tonight is to complete this game and also not run into any more of those goddamn awful yetis. And I know, like, one of those is within my power and the other one is entirely already decided, like, 12 years ago by Naughty Dog. But, you know, I'm going to put it, put it out there. Positive mental... Fuck. 
That's exactly what the game thinks of my positive mental attitude, isn't it? I'll give you a positive mental attitude. Chuck a grenade at you. Right. Ooh. There we go. But yeah, um, I, 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 I'm going to have to go into detail at some point about how much exactly I hate the character model for those yetis. Or, as I found out from googling them, temple guardians according to the game. I mean, they're yetis. They're definitely yetis, but... The game insists they're Temple Guardians, so we'll go with Temple Guardians. Also, this guy's the worst shot in the world. Can I just get that up there, please? Thank you. Uh, yeet! Oof. Ow. No. Balls. Where's that guy? Where is oh, shit. There he is. Okay. This is the worst time for me to just have a shotgun pistol. Um, there was an M4 down there. Semi tempted to get down there and uh, grab it. I can't see anything else, so. That'll do. Hello. Oh. Do you know he knocked me slightly off kilter there? Yeah, that'll fucking do. Sorry, what was that? Oh, yikes. Uh, balls. Balls, balls, balls. Okay. This is fine. Just, I need to... Oh, there we go. I'm not used to the concept of having to um, put ballistic arcs onto weapons in this game. I think, I think this may well be the first one to ever use a ballistic arc. <laughs> That or I've never noticed, and I've never been, I guess I've probably never been trying to do this at distance, but. Right, where is that guy? I've only got one shot in this as well. So I kind of need to oh, shoot two of them. Hmm. Oh, God. Hmm. Hmm. Issues. Hey there, Ed. How are you doing? Thank you very much for the follow. You've come at a... Well, a moment. It's definitely a moment. In which I realise that the only weapon I have is a shotgun pistol and I'm dealing with snipers. But, you know, we deal with that kind of thing. I'm not too bad, man. I'm not too bad. I am uh, easing myself back into Uncharted. I say easing myself back in. I was only last playing, what, a week ago. But this is the problem with playing games weekly. Um, is oh shit. Don't drink coffee in a firefight. Um, the problem playing games weekly is that you forget what the hell you're doing. Sometimes. Also, I'd very much like to be able to take people out from here, but the game insists that it won't allow me to. So I have to run out here. There we go. Let's try that again. There we go. See, this is the easy bit. Well, I say easy. This is the easier bit. In which it allows me to just snipe for a bit. And I do, unfortunately, have ten bullets. <laughs> you know the feeling. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. This is why I should, I should just pick a game and stick with it. Stream it all the time. Just become a professional at it. But, you know, such is variety streaming. <laughs> What am I doing? I wonder if... Will that hit? Not quite. But yeah, no, I'd, I, I would... Well, I don't know if I'd get bored. Because I don't get bored playing the same game all the time in personal life, but... Nah. Indecisive, I think that's what the problem is. I'm indes... Jesus Christ. I'm indecisive as to what to play. Plus, you know, variety. Right, anyway, what am I doing here? Ooh, right, right, right. But yeah, this is my this is my first time ever playing Uncharted. Just to put that out there. I don't know if you've ever played Uncharted. 
but I am very, very late to this party. So... And I don't know quite what I was preempting there, but hey! Yeah, so basically this entire thing I've got no idea what's going on. And I'm currently very much hoping that I never run into a Yeti again. Seen other, oh, you've seen others play it, but never bothered yourself. That's fair. That's... Do you know, I don't think I've even seen other people play it, funnily enough. Not properly, at least. Like, not at length. I might have seen other people dipping into it. I think I've seen... Um, I'm pretty sure it's... I don't know where that grenade is. There we go. Pretty sure at some point... Um, Eurogamer did a late to the party of it, but that's probably the closest I've ever come This did nothing this time. But yeah, it's very much uh, a victim of the fact that I didn't own a PlayStation. Um, you have a friend who's big into Tomb Raider and Uncharted 2, so you've seen her stream them all. Right, see, okay. See, your friend sounds very much like my partner, who is into both of those games, and therefore takes great joy in seeing me experience them for the first time. But yeah, I, I never, I did not own a place, I basically, I skipped the PlayStation 3. I went, I went straight from, uh, oh jeez, hang on, let me just get somewhere less shot, shooty. There we go. Okay, it does not want me to take cover there, there we go. Um, I basically skipped straight from the PS2 over to the Xbox and just ignored the entire PS3 generation. So I have literally no idea on half of the games that came out for PlayStation. And unfortunately that means a, th a whole three Uncharted games. So when the uh, definitive edition, like, upgraded version of them all came available, I think for free, I want to say. But I can't remember how. Um, I jumped on that, that bandwagon, so... PS1 and PS2, but got both of them when they became retro. Oh, God. Sorry, that just hurt a little bit inside <laughs> when when we described uh, PlayStation 1 and 2 as retro, because I remember getting those brand new. I'll get over it. But, um, yeah. I See, I had a PS1 and a PS2. Those guys will deal in a minute. Hey, Frobsy, how are you doing, man? Welcome on in. But yeah, I had a... Yeah, PS1 and PS2. Never had an Xbox. Straight to the 360. I don't know why I'm giving you my console life story. It's just, just how things go around here. Um, but yeah, that's... Uh, 360, Xbox One, then finally got a PS4. Well, inherited a PS4 with my aforementioned partner. I'm not too bad. I am not too bad. Um, just getting along. Very happy that it is nearly the weekend. One more day to go. Um, although it will always be far too short. But but yeah. Hey there, Amy. How are you doing? How are you hanging? How are you hanging? How are you... What? You know what I mean. <laughs> Oh, right, let me pick up a better weapon. That'll do. Right, now, now we've got a moment of calm. I can actually collect my thoughts. Just finished another cosplay and about to wash your face off. Ooh, what cosplays did you do? Like, is it an actual... Hanging a little to the left. As are we all. Mm, not sure on that one. Sometimes I wish I had, like, a little reverse button, but hey... But yeah, uh, what was I saying? Yes, yes. What's what was the cosplay? Like, is it an like an actual, actual cosplay or just a, this is really? Oh, version. Of, oh, I love it. I love it. I I am. I very much uh, cannot wait to see that <laughs> cosplay of Nicolas Cage or John Travolta. Hey, <laughs> you never know. Damn, damn, you didn't get it. Hey, you never know though. You never know. 
She go from Kim Possible. Oh, that sounds good. I like. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the hint. The game. The game has decided I'm taking far too long here. Maybe next time. Hey, uh, you know that's that's unfortunately that's that's saved now in perpetuity. You know, you've you've said it now. You're going to have to we'll complete the face-off reference. Ah, right. Yes, I was like, I was like, what are we doing here with the face-off thing? But now I I see what you've done. Wash my face off. Right, I'm with you. Good, good. I was half there with you. I was like, where are we going with face-off? Has so I missed something? Right, I'll get it. Okay. But yeah, no, I get that. Oh, but no, that the the sorry to get back to the actual point I was trying to make. The Shigo sounds really good. I I, uh, I would look forward to seeing that one. I keep meaning to like oh I don't know. Just need someone to swap it with. Oh, now that that's that's a cool idea. To vault into your cage, that's a cool sort of duo cosplay, isn't it? Like, you don't even have to do Travolta and Cage. You could just, like, you do the other person's face. And the other person just... Th Listen to me, like, as if I know anything about cosplay. I always wanted to do cosplay. And then... A, never had the confidence for it. And then B, as with a lot of things that I was like, yeah, I'm going to do this. All right, just a like pandemic. Uh, <laughs> Duo cosplay who keeps swapping faces randomly through the day. Oh, yes. Uh, oh no! I didn't mean literally. Oh. Hang on, hang on, back away, back away. Ah, oh, good lord, hang on. Special delivery. Yeah, duo cosplay swapping through the day. Ah, oh. I'm a mm. Can you imagine how annoying that would be? You just sort of walk up to the person and be like, "Hey there, Steve," and then it's like, "I'm not Steve, I'm Bob." What? <sighs> Oh, we swapped. Okay, and an hour later. Bob, how's it hanging? No, I'm Steve. We swapped again. You, hanging in Any, there? Uh, you will find Cute. that Bob and Steve are my go-to names. So lots of Bobs and Steve knocking around. Um, But yeah, ooh. A split Shigo Kim Possible. That would be possible. Possible. possible <laughs> if you ever wanted to paint someone else's face you know it oh see i 100 percent like it's it's on my list of things and i'm sure i'm not the only one need to see pics of the cosplay i think we all need to see pics of the cosplay i'm very much looking forward to seeing this eventually hopefully i'm assuming you took photographs and you weren't just doing it for your own pleasure i mean not that there's anything wrong with that but on, where are we going? Come on, come on, come on. Right, dickhead. There we go. But yeah, we like those movies with identical twins and no one can tell them apart. Yeah. I, I, I'm desperately trying to think of... the. Re I, I, I know I paused at the end of that and that's because I was desperately trying to finish that sentence with something other than you mean like the parent trap and I was like there must be other films other than the parent trap I can pick but I can't think of any of them oh triangle I do remember how to play this game I love this shotgun pistol it's the best. <laughs> you can barely paint your own. Hey, no, it's, that's that is. I don't know. Barely put my own comments. Sorry, two competing thoughts in my head. I was answering your question and also thinking, I would like to get into cosplay. <laughs> but like, see, I am very unadventurous in this because about the only thing I've ever been like. Hey, what could I cosplay as? I've gone, well, you know, I could always just be Agent 47. Because because my head goes, well, there's not many bald characters. Entirely ignoring the the beauty of a bald head being, you can put whatever the fuck you want on it. But no, no, I must be a bald man. I must be Agent 47. 
the simplest of cosplays in which I put on a suit and biro a set of lines on the back of my head. But no, I don't know. It's it's one of those things that I always said I was going to do. Like a whole load of other things, like get a tattoo, um, go skydiving, all that kind of stuff. Ang. Oh, Ang, Dr. Evil. Right, there we go. I've got my next three conventions done, or three days of a three-day convention. <laughs> yes, bald, supposedly perfect for wigs. I think you have to... Like, I think you have to deal with... Issues with sweat, but any Vin Diesel character. Right. Okay. Right. Fine. Fine. We're talking. We're talking. We're talking things that I could on, cosplay as, and things that I want to be easy and not too hard. Right. So what I'll do is I'll just put on a tank top, get a bottle of Corona, and walk around mumbling about family, and it'll be the perfect uh, Fast and the Furious cosplay. I believe that's what we call um, low effort. So we'll go with it. You just need wig tape and glue instead of clips. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to look into this. I'm definitely going to have to look into this. Like, because there's... um, The Wales Comic Con, not far down the road from me, is planning to be up and running um, okay. in November. Like, they're, they're on it. They've, they've got guests being announced. I'm dubious. Get down. I need, I need to stop sipping my coffee right before um, firefights. Right. There we go. Ow, bad day for you. You got what? You've got tickets for it. Oh, I need to get tickets. I need to, I've only been once, which is ridiculous given that it used to be like walking distance from me. And then, you know, they've now moved it slightly down the road. Out of Wales, counterintuitively. They've moved the Wales Comic Con out of Wales, but convention centres, I believe, are larger just over the border. So. But yes, no, we should. I, I, would, def, I would definitely be there. You've never been to a Comic-Con. I've only been to the Wales one. However, I think... As, ouch. As soon as we get out of all of Gestures Wildly this, I am definitely going to get myself to as many conventions as I can. Like, I want to go to... Um, I want to go to MCM. I want to get myself to EGX, basically anything. All these things that I've seen, and I'm like, that looks really cool, I'll watch it on YouTube. Those places, I'm going. Fuck it all. I don't care, I've not been spending my money now, so. Bit of a nightmare in Repsom last year, and a lot of rain, the latest, oh, latest cat suit. Like, sorry, I wasn't. I wasn't going. Ugh, latex cat suit. I was going. That sounds horrible. Being out in the rain in a latex cat suit. I just, I feel the need to make sure that we're aware that I'm not saying you can't wear it. I'm gonna drink my coffee now. And let the moment pass. <laughs> you knew what I meant, okay? Oh. Uh, hey, look, nothing could be as bad as the thought of me in a latex cat suit, so. Right, anyway. But yeah, no, I 100% I need to. Oh, right. oh, it's a shotgun and a sudding RPG. That's why I keep dying. Fine. But yeah, no, I mean... Latex catsuit sounds horrible at the worst of times to be wearing. To me, a entirely untrained member of the male sex. But, um... I 100% need to wear a latex. No. Let's not. don't have to match the hair by the way you don't if you can't be asked. you get a free brown coat and do mouth and firefly oh oh I love that 
Right, I'm going to put something out there and I'm going to voice it now, okay? You said that and my brain immediately went, nah, gender bent Kaylee. And I don't know where that came from. But apparently that's a thing that my brain was like, that sounds good. I could, I could go with the woolly hat, I don't know. Do it. Oh, see, I really want to. With the, with the rainbow umbrella and everything, we're doing it. Ooh, rainbow umbrella. Or, oh, I'm, I'm thinking the big puffy dress. No, no, we'll go, we'll go with the rainbow umbrella first off and the overalls. I'm 100% with it. Okay, fine. It's done. It's done. Yes. Hello there, Paul. You're here to hear about how I'm going to dress up as a... How I'm going to Comic-Con with you 100% not in a latex catsuit. Yeah? Hey, Paul. Um, I don't know if you were here for it. We're discussing how uh, we, we thought of a fantastic um, duo cosplay. How would you feel about wearing my face? That that sounded slightly like a come on, didn't it? That, sa that sounded more than slightly like a come on, actually. Hey, baby, how do you feel about wearing my face? <laughs> Sorry, I need to recover from that one. Oh, that was 100% a pickup line. Wow, you've... Yeah, okay. I definitely need more coffee. Hmm. What is going on? I'm going insane. It's, it's Thursday. I'm just losing it. You are clipping that. Of course you're clipping that. Oh, God. Well, I love that one. But no. Uh, how, how would you feel about what I was trying to say? A, um... A duo's cosplay wherein we cosplay as each other in a face-off type situation. Look, it's a very long story behind this, and I'm not going to explain it all, but, you know, rather than Nicolas Cage and uh, John Travolta type face-off thing, we just wear each other's faces. Are you in? I just realised I don't actually know whether you can cook grenades in this game. Also, at the same time, if we're ever going to complete this game, I do actually need to start paying a bit more attention to what I'm doing. It's a fine line. You'll think about it. <laughs> nah, don't worry, Paul. Even I'm not entirely happy wearing my face, so... I don't blame you. Oh, but no. Anyway, now that I've finished coming on to you, Paul, how are you? How are you doing? Oh shit, there's people up there, that's why. Shit. Oh crap. Cock. Balls. You're good, I'm glad to hear it. I am glad to hear it. Right, good, I'm gonna require, I'm gonna get away from this. You've not seen this game in ages, so you've no idea what's going on at this point. Right. I will I will round it up for everyone who's not aware then, while I just centre myself, have a bit more coffee, etc. So, at this point in the game, this is actually my first playthrough of this game as well, so I've no idea what's coming. Um, and also, I may have missed some stuff. Hey there, Raina. Cheese cookie? Cheese cookie? I mean, actually, did you, now you've said that, I was about, about to be like, mm, cheese cookie, but now I'm like, mm, cheese cookie. Anyway, how are you doing, Rainer? Oh. Now, at this point in the game, uh, we are in the Himalayas somewhere looking for Shambhala, otherwise known as Shangri-La. Why does that keep not exploding every now and again? There we go. Um, there are some rather horrifying looking yeti type things that I absolutely hate. 
and someone has done a fantastic job of creating a character model that I hate. Which you'll probably see, like I've met one of them and they're 100% being touted as the new this is the thing you're going to hate for the rest of the game, Sam. We had it in the first Uncharted. Um, here's your Hydro Rainer. We had it in the first Uncharted. Oh, Jesus Christ, how many Hydrates is that? Oh no, it's not showing up on my phone. Hang on. One, two, three, four. Four Hydrates. There you go. Four big gulps. Ooh, I'm going to sort that one out. Usually that's exactly how I know what's uh, going on with the redeems as they show up on my phone, but they're not doing it now. I'm going to actually have to use the computer screen, which is awful because it's well zoomed in so I can read what you're saying because I have... I don't have terrible eyesight, but it's easier to read at a quick glance. But it also means everything leaves the screen real quick. I'm right, going to get up here and see if I can... Oh, shit. Grab this guy's... But sorry, yeah, there are some horrendous looking um, yeti things knocking around, trying to stop me finding Shangri-La. And also, a, like a big Russian dude who, I don't remember his name, so I call him either Reznov or Makarov. Uh, which is the point where you tell that I played far too much Call of Duty. But that's about where we are at the moment. Um, all the nice people have been shot and or kidnapped. There's some guru guy who's been here since World War II when the Nazis apparently came after it. And it does something about eternal life. I don't know. We don't We don't really know. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's better than the first Uncharted in terms of having a story. But it's not exactly um, War and Peace, so. Also, yes, yeah, sorry, I did I did see you saying you were kind of sad. What well, that's, is that nuts? No, I did see you saying you were kind of sad before you did the hydrates, and then I completely lost it in doing the hydrates, Rainer. I hope you're good. Is it still um, with your, uh, your girlfriend? Have you heard from her? Hopefully she's okay. Ooh, there we go. Right. I think we're done. Good. But yes, that's about where we are in the game. I'm sorry for the kind of chaotic way of explaining it, but I was trying to shoot things at the same time. Mm, we'll go with the SAS. But other than that, I don't really know what's going on. Like, one of the things I like very much about this game is that I am as in the dark as Nate is at times. You know, because Nate spends the entire time running around going, I've got no idea what's going on. Which is a pretty decent analogy to what I'm doing, to be honest. Because I've got no idea what's going on. Ugh, no t oh, no turning left. Shit. Five minutes of no turning left. Hang on. Right. I can, I can do this. I can do this. You had an idea to go on your phone... To go on your phone number to her friend, but her parents won't let her. I mean... Oh, crap. Oh, to give your phone number to a friend. Right. Her parents won't let her. Well, you know, I'm sure... Crap. Oh, no. Okay, this is fine. 20, 20, right, okay. five minutes. This is the dude who's been here since the time You're of the Nazis. Right. About what? Everything you touch does turn to shit. For on, players that can't started. turn left, no. good. What do we do? Uh. Did you find my expedition? Yes, I found them. You understand what I had to do? Yes. If they had found the keep, stone, yeah, I was have to keep turning in circles, aren't I? Of history. I have to do. Easy, easy. <sighs> he took the the good news is, I'm glad there's some good news, Rainer. He's gone to the tower. You have to stop him. Uh, try, try not to move. <sighs> This to be honest, hides the secret right, I know this Shambhala. this game's been... You must get the dagger back, is it remastered or... I can't remember. And destroy the... uh, oh, I can't. I can't see what it is without exposing my PlayStation dashboard. So. 
Drake. Oh, your girlfriend and you have a, a relationship of almost four weeks. That's fantastic right now. Congratulations to you both. And hopefully, as as you know, you were saying she wasn't feeling too well. Hopefully, she's them. feeling better soon. Choice do we have? You heard him. Oh. But yes, what was I saying? Yeah, this, this I really believe be is remastered. But he believed it. That's enough for me. It's not. So it's not. Yeah, it's not a remake. It's a remaster. So it still looks damn good. You know, compared to the fact that this game, I think, is okay. about I think we should split up. twelve what? to fifteen no, listen, years old. I'll go scope out the secret entrance thing, and you go to the tower and figure out how to get that dagger like, back. Like, if if this was released these days, I'd probably just say it was a stylistic yeah, right. choice, rather just than like keep your head down. A graphical Stay in radio contact. issue. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. I like the textures on that leather. Sorry, I'm going to nerd out about this now. Textures on that leather are really nice. Talking of cosplays, actually, Nathan Drake wouldn't be a hard cosplay to put together, would he? Hmm. This is just going to be me for the next however long. You're just going to have me here going, do you know what would be a good cosplay? This. Oh, Rainer Dan. That's three hydrates between you. Two. Three. There we go. Do you know what I'm going to have to start doing? I'm going to start hydrating with this coffee. Because the coffee does not go through me. Oh, there we go. Right. Let's go over here. <laughs> Your Aquaman. Hey, don't worry. Raina, no one will ever be able to take Aquaman away from you. Don't you worry. It's nigh on impossible. For anyone unaware... Rainer has earned the uh, honorary title of Aquaman in our Discord. Uh, because... Stop turning left! Oh crap, I forgot. Sorry, right. The five minutes starts again, as per the rules. Right, okay. Uh, but yes, right, left, that way. <laughs> I hope it's not just me that every now and again has to do this. But yeah, um, left, no turning left, okay. Right only. Shit. Oh, okay. Cool. Um. Uh, oh, come on. That was... Right, that was what... Right, I'm, I'm not going to lie. That was 100% me pushing this way and he turned that way. I'm not counting that. <laughs> Oh wow, that I hang on, I will read that in a minute. Don't you dare take my roll away, Bells. Oh, don't worry, he's not going to take your roll away, Raider. You're good. You are good, Jesus Christ. Hang on. There we go. Do you know what? This is actually slightly more annoying than when you guys tattoo style. Interesting. This is slightly more annoying than when you guys made me have to play Uncharted without using guns. Never did I think I'd be saying that it was preferable for you to uh, take away... Oh my god. Why is this entire building built so that you have to turn left? <sighs> Raise Jesus. I think they did that already. But no, I know. I, I am assuming you were mean to say praise Jesus right now. But... Uh, right. Shh. Oh, come on. That definitely looked like a handhold. Anyway. Also, I'm not allowed to just cheat by killing myself again and again. Oh, come on. There we go. This, this really is taking the piss. <laughs> there we go. Oh, come on. I can grab this. Hang on. Here we go. We've got this. There we go. Oh, we have a hydrate from Dan. Get that down us. 
three hundred. Jesus Christ, I need to put a limit on this. There we go. Right, anyway, what am I doing? Uh... Oh, Rainer. It's all right, Rainer. He's not, you know, you're still Aquaman. Don't you worry. But, you know, sometimes other people are going to redeem it's the same the things. You know, let's keep it civil in here. There we go. Where have I left um, my lady friend? Elena. Is it Elena? I want to say it's Elena. Right, I've got, I work with someone, but I don't work with her. She's in the HR department at work. And she spells her name E-L-E-N-A. -E and I've been calling her Elena, but then someone the other day called her Elena. And I'm like, I'm, I'm fairly sure that, I don't know. Oh, he's not, he's, he's not stealing a role, Raina. Don't you worry. No one's going to steal your role. But, uh, you know, let's not start anything in chat, please. Hold L and press R2 to run a gun. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Let's call you Poseidon. Oh, God. Right, that's a right hand. Oh, come on. Oh, hey, this bit likes me. The Moist Maker. Oh, let's not. This is getting worse. How much? I've got two more minutes of this. Jesus Christ. Down, maybe. There we go. Oh, hello. Over here. No one's over here. Come on. <laughs> there is no other role for. No, you're you're very right, Rainer. There's no other role for hydrate, and there never will be. Don't you worry. You have the inaugural. Come on. I've got this. I've not got this much longer. <laughs> so glad you said that. Oh God. Let's let's not. I mean, I've got nothing personally against the word moist. It's just a bit weird. I can't. I can do this. By the way, Nathan does keep turning left every now and again, and I am aware of that. But I'm not pressing left. The game just decides that it doesn't want that it's going to make him go left, but by rotating that way. So, as this is my stream and I make the rules, doesn't count. There we go. You kidding me? This isn't where I'm meant to be. Right, here we go. Okay. Right hand turns for how much longer? If you ban an in-game action of no turning right, would that cause issues? Not anymore, because Paul's one has run out. But, but, um, I believe, did, did we decide, we've done that, we've been through this before, haven't we, Paul? I think with something you redeemed as well. Did we decide that the, they stack... Oh no, I, yeah, I, that was it. I decided it was up to whoever redeemed the second one, whether they stacked or whether it started after the next one. So yeah, you can technically redeem one each. But, you know, let's behave. You need to get creative, hey. I'm sure, I'm, if, if anyone can get creative... If it means annoying me, I am pretty sure it's you guys. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Sweet. I'm fairly sure that it is in uh, everyone here's job description. <sighs> right. Maybe we'll go with the floor is lava. I'm not entirely sure how that would work. But this is either going to kill me or it's going to be fine. There we go. I mean, have I been on stream when you 
Paul and Amy were together. No. No, I haven't. I, this is very true, I haven't. But... Oh god, why do I feel like I'm going to slowly regret this? This is fine. Like, where the... Oh, there we go. The hell are they shooting at? Oh no, I don't like this. The, the, the Russians are shooting at something. Oh good, it's the thing I hate. Oh, there's more than one of them. Well, I'm going to leave them to it. Because I, I want absolutely nothing to do with these things. Right, I need to get down somehow. I need to work out how I get down. There we go. Okay. I got this. Uh. Ow! Put uh, dodge, punch. There we go. Like that. Right. Oh. I've got this. Probably. I'm shooting everywhere but there. Fucking hell. Ugh. Hey, thank you for the sub, Dan. Very much appreciated. Enjoy your emotes. And of course, enjoy your joy of knowing that you've supported me, your favourite streamer. And also, you got a little first badge there. I believe you're, means you're one of the first ten people, maybe? Something like that. Oh shit, okay, I need to deal with those guys. Oh, perfect. Shit. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. Arr. I feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Hey, well, that's that's the energy I'm bringing. We are nothing if not a warm, fuzzy energy uh, stream going on here. Speaking of energies, there's um a, uh, a petition going on at the moment that I... Uh, on the, the, you know, the Twitch. Uh, what's it called? You know, we can put suggestions to Twitch, essentially. There's one going on there to have extra tags for uh, the mood of the stream. Like cosy vibes, chill vibes, hectic vibes, that kind of stuff. And I swear to God, if we get the cosy vibes tag before we get trans tag, then I'm going to completely give up on ever hoping for anything good from Twitch. For anyone unaware, Twitch bluntly refuse to allow a, um, a trans tag. They'll allow LGBT, but they're like, no, trans people, no. Technically, LGBT does still count trans people, but... Oh, sod you. <laughs> You love the Pokemon, eh? Do you know what? Funnily enough, the Pokemon are like a very popular for some reason. Hey, Rayner, there's no need to be mad at other people. No one's done anything. So. That guy just jumped into the hole with the grenade. Oh, 
Oh, come on. I don't know. That's annoying. Keep your eyes peeled. Why is Twitch not ex including trans tags? Yes, surely by including the trans tag, that's pretty bad. It is. And that's like the point that's being made. Coming at you. They've made an argument for it, which most people call absolute bullshit. They're like, they've said that if people tag themselves, can tag themselves as trans, right, that it will just lead to people showing up to bully them specifically for that. But that's, that's not the issue at hand. You know, if, if they do, then that's more a failing of Twitch to not put together appropriate, you know, abilities to deal with that. Sorry, I'm really trying to sort this out. <laughs> you know, that's on Twitch and not having decent moderating tools or, you know, decent ways to stop people being abusive, like blocking IPs and all that. You get where they're coming from with that, but sure, yeah, exactly. You no, know, no, that that's that's exactly what it is. It's about labelling safe spaces. That's it's what the LGBT tag is about. It's to label that you know you have a place where that is fine. You know, well, no, sorry. It's let me rephrase that. It's fine everywhere, but a place where you know that you will be treated as a human being, essentially. And they just, they fully refuse to do it. And, you know, it's been, its I think it's been years that it's been requested and they still won't do it. But yeah, I don't know, Twitch are very weird. Like, they've recently, supposedly, and I've, I've got no experience of this, so this is all second-hand information. Like, this is, this is Twitter talking, so don't, I don't know, quote me on it and publish it in a national newspaper. But, supposedly, they've completely banned the word queer. Like, it's it's just an auto-modded word now. If you use the word, you'll be banned. No, not banned, but, you know, you're, what you write will be moderated. And it's not allowed in your bio or anything like that. Yeah, exactly. People have got it on there and they've, they've basically had their bios locked down. Been like, no, this is unacceptable language. You can't have this here. So I don't know, and like, I, again, I don't know whether this is true or not. Like, I don't see, the pe the people I've seen talking about it, I don't see why they'd have any reason to lie. But, but it's one of these things, they, they seem to be making some very weird decisions. With just regards to a lot of things. But yeah, it's just, I don't, I don't know what they're playing at. You know, and all it's, I can't see how it's going to do anything other than affect their business. But, uh, I think well, uh, what it boils down to, in my mind, and again, you know, this is my opinion and nothing libelous or slanderous. I can never admit, slander spoken, libel's written, isn't it? That's the one. Um, this is nothing slanderous, as it is purely my opinion and not a matter of fact, he says, while streaming on the platform that pays him. Um, but if I were to be a cynical person, that man just took a f grenade to the face. If I were to be a cynical person, I'd say it's because they're more worried about losing the, um, the business of people who would take offence to, you know, trans safe spaces and the word queer and, you know, being LGBT friendly than they are about losing the business of the minorities, essentially. But, you know, again, just my opinion. Sod. But I don't, I don't know what, what can be done about it, really. I'd just keep being loud and vocal about the fact it's a whole bunch of bullshit, I guess. You know, it's it's the old, it's the good old um, saying you're an ally isn't enough. You've got to actually do shit about it. Type situation. 
Damn. Yeah. Just be loud. Just say that it's a load of bullshit as a person who it doesn't directly affect. I don't know. Twitch have got a monopoly is the unfortunate fact of it. Much like Amazon have got a monopoly, so they get to get away with shit. But yeah, I don't know. Sorry, this, this stuff actually does quite annoy me. So... Uh, yeah, yeah, I won't, may take a minute to uh, be nice again. Oh my god! Er, uh, Michael W. How did you know? How did you know that that's exactly what I wanted, is to become famous? And I mean, would you look at that? You're not even writing in weird letters. Oh, where did you go? Oh, oh no. Oh well. <laughs> Don't think these people realise how many people identify as queer. Yeah, it's... The, the, the fact of the matter is, is they For very good reason... Relatively silent. They are a silent mon minority. Because of all the bullshit they have to deal with. But yeah, I, I think a lot of people would be very surprised. I think a lot of people would probably turn around and say they don't know anyone who would identify anywhere on the LGBT um, spectrum who would be very, very wrong about it. But, uh, turns out I can't talk about social justice issues and shoot properly. Right, let me try this again. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, hopefully Twitch can do something about it. You know, they, they keep making moves. Those people tend not to know much about the LGBT spectrum anyway. Well, yeah, there is that. You know, and it's... No, that's, that's unfair. That's unfair. Hey, Coco. How are you doing? Have I gotten better? Remind me where I was when you were here last. And I'll tell you if I... Well, actually, no, but to be fair, the answer is going to be I've not got any better. <laughs> Use the rage to strengthen my aim. Let's do this. Let's just imagine this is a bunch of transphobes. Here we go. Do you know that was going so well? You're listening to the social justice. You don't know what to say. Hey, do you know what? That's, I think, that's a very valid response. You know, I... I hear a lot of people, um, like, a lot of people do... Oh, fucking hell. A lot of people don't know what to do about it. You know, a lot of people have no idea, like, you know, maybe don't know anything about, um... Well, for, let's use it for example. I, I probably know next to nothing about the actual issues facing the trans community at the moment. But... From what I understand, you know, what they need is for us to just, I don't know, not, we don't, we don't have to insert ourselves into it, but we have to not put up with, basically no one deserves to be discriminated against. And we've got to have that same energy you would have if you saw a little old lady being abused in the street as you would if you see you know well if let's just say the government decided they were going to completely um, defund uh, transitioning treatments and that kind of you know and move to take away safe spaces or, you know, gender neutral bathrooms or some bullshit like that, which of course no civilised government would ever be talking about. But yeah, no, it's, it's one of those things, is I don't think... The, as long as you're listening and you agree with what's being said, I think the main point is, 
if you listen to what the people are saying and you do something about it. Hey. I don't know. I, I am not very good at this kind of stuff, as you can probably tell by the way I'm waffling my way around the subject. I am very new to the entire thing myself. You know. I just about... I was just about comfortable thinking I knew what was going on with um, LGBT issues. Until I suddenly realised I knew nothing about the team. As long as people are happy, then no one gets the right to tell them otherwise. Just carry that energy everywhere with you. Shit. <laughs> no! 100% on board. Don't know about any of the issues. Right, let me just pause this while I read that. And finish my coffee because it's going to go cold. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's it. You know, if you if you don't know, you don't have to understand all the issues, I don't think, as long as you listen to what the people are saying. But also, it's got it's got to be, I think, obviously you would not let anyone be abused on the streets. But, I don't know, you also, at least personally, I have started to feel like I have to do... I have to make sure that we're creating a place where, I don't know, if if my child were to come to me one day and tell me that they feel they were born the wrong way, then I want them, I want to be able to feel confident that there's an entire world that would accept them no matter who they are. And as long as I'm doing something to help make that world a reality, fuck off with your stupid grenade launchers. <laughs> no, no. Keep your eyes peeled. Just Karen's being arseholes. Yeah, that's it. It is it. Well, I don't know. People... Yeah. A whole lot of people who were in... Or thought they were in the minor, uh, majority, sorry. Are suddenly now realising that their majority is smaller than it was. And I don't want to lump people together, but I feel it is generally per I couldn't decide whether I wanted perpetrated or perpetuated. So I, yeah, but by people of a certain generational area. And it's not 100% that. You know, I'm fairly sure that my mother is not aware of trans issues, but would also not be out there, I would hope, not be out there actively campaigning. But, you know, we've just got, we've got to do what we can. And just not be blind to it. And at the end of the day, like, it's... Seek out the places where um, where you can get the information. You know, I don't know enough about this. So, if I really want to know something about it, I need to seek out those places that are being defunded and just see what they need from me. But anyway, I, I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Come on. No. Oh, there we go. I need your gun. Give me your gun. Ow! Jesus Christ. Yes, thank you. I'll take that. Yeah, so this entire thing has actually made me realise how little I know about the issues at hand. So I, uh, I will maybe, I will, well, not maybe, I will do something about that. We know just enough to know that we really don't know. This is it, yeah. It's it's exactly this is this is the kind of thing that I think is good and I think that is maybe the dividing line there between the right thing to do and the wrong thing to do is I don't know what I'm talking about so I'm going to go look it up I'm not going to just bury my head in the sand and say this is too confusing for me it'd be better if these people didn't exist 
Which, you know. No, I don't know, actually. I don't know where I was going with that. Look, just don't buy any Harry Potter books, okay? And don't go out and, like, pay money directly to J.K. Rowling. Because she's a great big turf. Is the general gist of what I get. Oh! I do apologise, sir. That was far beyond what was necessary. Perfect. But yeah, I don't know. J.K. Rowling, yes, yes. If you are unaware, J.K. Rowling is unfortunately a very big um, voice against, I think it started when Scotland introduced gender neutral bathrooms or like the concept of gender neutral bathrooms. And she, yeah, she's trans exclusionary essentially. She's like, she, oh. Uh, I hate those things. You're going to watch me have a big old freak out when I inevitably have to fight them. Um, she believes, essentially, that um, trans people... And, you know, I'm, it's not even trans people because she's one of these... Well, essentially, most, most of the trans-exclusionary um, community ignore the existence of trans men. But, you know, all... You know, all trans people are men in dresses who want to assault women, in her opinion and in the opinion of many other people like that, which they are very much not. You know, and they're, they're the people who go, oh, you don't know who's in the cubicle next to you. And then, you know, don't listen to the reason of, I'm sorry, at what point have, has, have you, do you generally spend a lot of time in the toy, in public toilets going, I wonder who's next to me? Or do you just, you know, get on with what your business and why you're there? But yeah, she is unfortunately um, to many, many people's upset nurse, that's not a word, um, trans exclusionary. Which upset me a lot because I, as I'm sure many people of similar ages to me, adored the Harry Potter books. I don't know what that was, but in like... Oh, oh. Oh, thank God. It's only a minigun. I thought it was a Yeti. Oh, fuck you. There we go. Yes. Just sat there chatting with people in the cube. Yeah, exactly. This is it. It's, she believes that, you know... As well, you do have that fear sometimes. Yeah. Nothing to do with anything translated. Yeah, you see, and again, this is something where I can't speak to that experience. I can only speak to the people who are telling me. You don't understand how she links those two things. Exactly. Exactly. You know. There's this assumption that men in... Ooh. Uh... Give me a second <laughs> Why is it banned? Twitch, the fuck are you doing? It's all right. Um, you would... Uh, I could... Uh, for some reason, and this is... Huh? No, I stand by your point as well, Coco. Um, it's, it's not going to come through because of one of the words you used but um i do stand by your point that she is not a great human being i don't know like that's the point what was the point of his name yeah i don't understand how she links those two things yeah that's what you're saying I don't understand it either. 
she appears to believe that well I don't know what it is she it's a weird did it start with a C no it was it was essentially it's it's something that like the C word would be fun end in aunt no <laughs> can't see it but from what Sam related did I agree yeah it was it's a word that I want not banned but auto modded uh, it would basically did not like the phrase she's a slut okay which I am not going to I'm gonna keep my auto mod flagging slut shaming not that I'm saying that was slut shaming but if I add it as an allowed term then it may cause issues but yeah um she's a not very nice human being and she is definitely a C word how the fuck did I make that jump? Cool. Yeah, wait, why am I? This is my stream. Why am I censoring the C word? Yeah, JK Rowling's a cunt. Yeah, like it's it's one of those awkward things where own it. Oh, she is. She one hundred percent is. J.K. Rowling can fuck off. Annoys me. As I, I think I was I was halfway through my thought, is that it annoys me that, All right, play nice. and I can understand why people are upset and don't want to. Uh, essentially don't want to accept the fact that J.K. Rowling has turned out to be a garbage human being. But, the fact of the matter is, and this is, again, I like, this is what I hear, but it's doubly upsetting for the people involved. Because J.K. Rowling essentially created this world where, you know... Oh, fuck you! Created this world where, you know, wizards can change their appearance. Hang on. There's two a bit further up, is there? Sorry, I missed them. We were talking about her. Mm, mm, mm. There we go. Ugh, keep me hi Yeah, I need to hydrate my throat so I can dunk on JK Rowling. Uh, but yeah, no, she created this world where people were, uh, you know, where you could change your appearance at will, where people were accepted no matter what, just because they were different, you know, you weren't a monster, and then she turned around and did this. You know, there was some other questionable stuff in there. You're just thinking my larynx at this point. This is exactly it. You know, there's some other questionable stuff that, you know, maybe didn't pick up on as a child. You know. The only Asian character in the entire thing is called Cho Chang. Maybe, maybe some red flags these days. But... I don't know. She's... she's Essentially, she's a horrible human being. Fuck her. Don't go see the next Fantastic Beasts movie. However, if you already own Harry Potter, feel free to read it. She doesn't get money from that shit anymore. Like, she doesn't get money unless you buy a new copy. Is not my opinion. Well, that, sorry, it is my opinion, but it's not come from me. That's what I have heard from the people affected by the issue. But at the same time, maybe don't go around... <gasps> waving your Harry Potter merchandise at a um, LGBT parade because it may send off the wrong impression. Right, where am I going? Where am I going? I, also, I don't think I've missed any of this conversation. This has been going on for all... Yeah, da, 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 good. But no, she is a horrible human being. Let's pretend... Well, no, let's not pretend. I was going to say let's pretend she doesn't exist, but let's hold her accountable for the bullshit she spouts 
Go on, I'll take a hint. Climb to the open window, of course. You've got Harry Potter in your spare room being extremely visible on stream. Just going to take that down. Yeah, it's one of those things. Is like I've heard a lot of people who hate, you know, hate that she's done this, and don't, you know, they're like, I, I, you know, I don't have those beliefs. I'd like to keep it. I don't feel qualified. Yes, all right. I don't feel qualified to make the decision on it. Essentially, so. My opinion, and again, this is my opinion, is that if there's a chance someone's going to take offence to it, I'm not going to put it out there. If there's a chance that some trans individual could pop in and be like, hey, I'm going to check this guy out, and is immediately confronted with something that reminds them of something horrible in their life, then I don't want that to happen. But at the same time, I know balls all about this. Yeah, no, that's that's exactly, I think, the attitude that has to be had. Is you still love the world that she created. Because it's a fantastic world, and it is a world where you can be anything. Where, you know, continue to speak out against her comments, exactly. But, you know, it's a world where Nymphadora Tonks can change what she looks like at will. She can be whatever she wants to be. And, you know, where a wizard can go out and, you know, where uh, it's been a while since I read the book, but where Hermione could drink a potion and be either Crab or Goyle. I can't remember which one. Um, but one of them, just at will. J.K. Rowling created this world that a whole generation felt safe in. And then she turned out to be a fucking shit human being. So, by all means, feel betrayed by it. But, if you love it, and as long as you're not giving money to her anymore, live in your version of Harry Potter. Where everyone is accepted. Yeah, it, separate the death of the author is one hundred percent a thing. You know, you have to separate from the author to a degree, and that's fine as long as you've got the book. But like, as long as you're not giving money to the person anymore, you know, Ender's Game. I I love Ender's Game. Orson Scott Card thinks that gay people should be forcibly transitioned to not being gay. I'm never going to buy a copy of Ender's Game again. But if I can get it for free in a charity shop, what? Thank you, game. Huh. Yes, exactly. Death of the author. Harry Potter. Harry Potter would 100% support trans rights. You look, yeah. You've looked some stuff up. You've done your research, and exactly, Coco. It's 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 a horrible thing to accept, and I was unfortunately a little bit ignoring to it for a while. But yeah, you got see that's that's it. Is you can still you know your bestie wanted a Harry Potter Hindu, everything handmade. Don't buy anything licensed. HP Lovecraft was a <laughs> HP Lovecraft was a proper opinionated bastard is my favorite euphemism for HP Lovecraft was a big old racist. Um but yeah, like I've um, I unfortunately I bought the entire well, actually, no, hang on. Back up. HP Lovecraft is not making any money off his books anymore, I'm pretty sure. Unless there's a bit more truth in those books than I think. But 
You're going to pop out. No worries, Coco. Thank you for popping in. And apologies if it's been a bit of a uh, vibe. But I, I do... I don't think we can shy away from these things, but so racist, but he's dead now. Exactly. Exactly. It's, you know, and I, I was about to say, I unfortunately bought his completed works um, that I have upstairs in a great, a lovely, great big grimoire, grimoire type book <laughs> that I have to read through. And yeah, no worries, Coco. Hopefully I'll see you soon. And I promise I will be better at this game at some point. But yeah, he's dead now. But like, love love his work. 100% like what he does. Like what he does. Hmm. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You're going to say you still get stuff on your wish list, but you haven't bought it yet. Buy away. Buy away. 100%. Once J.K. Rowling shuffles her way the fuck off this mortal coil. And I am not advocating for that. I would like to make that very clear before anyone decides to cancel me over it. Please don't get the Potter heads on me. But, once she does that, buy all the fucking Harry Potter merch you want. In fact, buy it all, and I, I really hope, I really hope, Whoever owns the rights after J.K. Rowling <laughs> um, puts all the proceeds into a nice trans charity. Shuffles away off this. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to go as far as saying anything inflammatory or potentially defamatory <laughs> or, you know, threatening or anything like that. But, you know, once she fucks off, once she fucks off... <laughs> Hopefully, all of her money can go to undoing some of the horrible harm she did. But I don't know. She's she's just her, isn't she? She's a middle-aged... J.K. Rowling turned out to be a big old middle-aged British person, essentially. And everything along comes along with it. That's why we call her Joanne. Just call her Joanne. She hates it, apparently. Right. I I I don't think it's just me being distracted. I can't work out what I'm supposed to be fucking doing here. Right, hang on. Let's just, just try and get back on this. Up here, maybe? It's giving you Mummy 3 vibes. It's not the best Mummy to be giving... I mean, it's still a good film, but it's not the best Mummy to be getting vibes of. You know, it's, it could be worse, I guess. This could be Tom Cruise Mummy vibes. <gasps> The location, not the badness. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's all right. No, the location, yeah, it's very... We're, um, oh, crap. We're in Tibet, I believe. I believe that's where Shangri-La is. Hey, no worries, Robzy. Thank you for popping on in. Uh, hopefully see you yes again soon. And I hope all your stream stuff works out. Um, just, just keep at it, is the only thing I would say. I know it's... You mentioned it's like one of your... You're just getting into it. It'll be a pain in the ass at first, but you'll get it, essentially. But yeah, I hope it goes well. And I'll, uh, I'll see you soon. Right. Now. Oh. Hang on. Fuck. I swear I did that jump last time. Shangri-La, like in Lost Horizon. Ah, uh, yes, maybe. Hang on. There's something at the back of my brain tickling when you say the phrase Lost Horizon. But I can't pick up what it is. 
and I feel like I'm being stupid by not getting it. But this happens a lot, is that there'll be a thing in my brain that I can't quite... Hang on, I've got this. Sure, the book that Shangri-La comes from. Not what I was thinking of, apparently, because I've never heard of that. Uh, but sure. <laughs> Right, what am I doing? Hang on, I've lost the stream now because I was Googling shit. Ugh. Good story. Plane crash, people stranded in a mountain paradise. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's sort of like that, except there's yetis and apparently the secret to eternal life. Which we will find eventually, should I ever manage to do this. Right, I ran and I jumped that the very first time I came here. If it's a... Is it a paradise if we can't leave? Ah, that kind of shit, yeah. No, come on, I made that last time. Like, I'm starting to feel that maybe I'm not supposed to make it. Maybe there's another way to get there, but... Wait, where the bollocks am I? Oh, okay. Fair enough. See, I googled it and all I got was a 1973 film. But yes, probably. Probably Shangri-La, as in that. Which is interesting, because I was aware of Shangri-La before this, but I don't know where from. Oh, hang on, is it Shangri-La we're looking for? What's the difference between Shangri-La and Shambhala? Because we're looking for one of them. Yeah, I'm not going to make that jump. Is there a higher point? Maybe. Oh. Oh, there's something glowing there. Oh, and there's a rope. Hang on. Hang on. Terms. There's a film? <laughs> yeah, apparently there's a film, 1973. Terms is used a lot, but the guy that wrote the book came up with it. Okay, interesting. See, I, I, me and my big, dumb, white man brain had kind of assumed it was just a, like, a Buddhist thing. But no, no, I'm just apparently not. Shows how much I know when I don't actually do any research. Right, okay, there is, right, there's got to be a way to get over there. Shambhala is a Buddhist thing. I think it's just a mix-up of work. Right, okay. This is one or the other. They'll tell us in a bit. I want to say it's probably Shambhala. Because as soon as I said the word Shambhala, I decided that I'd been saying it wrong. So, Ooh, no, don't do that. Um, right. I don't want to spend the next half hour with me just running and jumping like that. But I definitely made that jump the first time. Right, there's got to be another way up here, surely. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on. Maybe? No. Like, it's definitely up there. Definitely up there is where it wants me to be. A hint other than getting that window would be useful, game. I'm just going to Google this at some point, aren't I? Oh, oh please tell me it's not in here. Thank you. No, thank God. Although maybe not, thank God. It would have been nice if I'd have actually found the way out of here. Uh, 
Uh, it's one of my pet peeves when I play a game, when we hit a point like this. More so when I'm trying to stream the damn thing. Do you want me to Google? Do you want? Do I want you to Google hints? That would be great because it'll save me googling a video. Usually, this is about the point in the game where I would Google a video <laughs> of how to do the damn thing. I swear I made that jump the first time. Do you know if I if I can't do this, I might look up a video as well. But yeah, if if we could maybe get a hint, that'd be great. Otherwise, or do, do you know what? I'm not. I'm, I'm even going to go out there and say if you could just blatantly tell me what the fuck it wants me to do, that would also be acceptable. Because this is one of those things where it's basically just being annoying, and I want to progress. Right? I'm not. I'm not going to keep running and jumping at that. Jump to the pink bricks to the right, and then to the. Oh fuck! Yeah, all right. That. Do you know when you say that, it's blatantly obvious, isn't it? And then down the stairs, and then oh fuck it. Fuck off, game. Fuck off. There we go. Thank you very much. I appreciate this muchly. Oh, this is a point of no return. Nate. Oh. There's something strange going on over here. There's it. some sort of animals. Yeah. I probably Happens to you in nearly every game you play. That. Yeah, there's always sort of a point where that happens. Wait, you knew about these things? When were you planning on telling me? Just lay low and stay out of their in way. In the first Uncharted, there was a section where we went inside. Uh, like, spoilers for anyone who's not played the first Uncharted, but it's 17 years old. So, um, there's a point where we went inside an old Nazi base, and it was full of weird zombies. And I hated it. And in Uncharted 2, right now, there's fucking weird yeti things running around, and I hate them. So I'm going to walk in here with my RPG, and the first yeti I see is getting it in the face. And there's going to be a lot of undignified panic and screaming. But we're setting expectations early, so let's go. Getty that yeti. Oh, good lord. Yes. I want to get... I want to... I want to what I would like to do is be able to sneak up on the Yeti and just stab it multiple times in the back, but I don't think the game's going to let me. I think it's one of those enemies where it's always going to force a confrontation. Got it. Right. <laughs> oh, I need to. Like, the last time I fought one, it was actually nicely, just ever so slightly nicely scripted. In terms of there was a lot of panicking, but then it would do a little quick time event where I had to kick the shit out of it. Just a nice environmental storytelling there. Oh my god, those horrible things are tearing people apart. Probably don't want to be stuck in a room with them. Right. Oh, come on. Through here? No, not through there. Oh god. For a second I thought I'd phase through the rock and it was just going to forever... There we go. This is better. Oh. Hey, guess what? It's been nice and... Oh, I was maybe supposed to go this way anyway. I've said this before, but I aspire to one day have the upper body strength that Nate is showing right here. And to be able to hold my entire body weight and do that little pull up like that. I don't know about anyone else, but I can't do a pull up. No matter how much I exercise, I can't do a pull up. I'm fairly sure that pull ups are fake. And that people are just having me on when they say that they're a thing people can do. Fairly sure. Ooh, finally. That le exactly. Exactly. It's almost it's almost as bad as Aloy's little reverse leap 
thing that she continued to do. And then, like, a whole group of people, like, from her tribe showed up and they all did the same leap, so apparently it's a thing. Like, where? Hang on, where am I going? Not this way. But yeah, I aspire to one day be able to do, uh, upper body stuff. How does he arms? I have no idea how he arms, but... Hey! For fuck's sake, Nick. Ooh. No? Oh, there we go. Like, to be fair, I like all of this clambering around. I once thought I would get into, um rock climbing when I was in university and I was like that'll be fucking easy I tell you right now dear viewer it was not you don't realize how little upper body strength you have until you try and haul yourself up a rock wall I'm tired of your excuses look give me some more time that's all I'm asking I should probably pick it up again now that I've actually been to a gym at I some point given you enough time. But... I have right this is Reznov or whatever his name no. is where is the gate to Shambhala? Uh, Look, Zoran, the, we the, know the, the British bloke here, I the British bloke here, who's been talking like this the entire time, actually turned out to be the bad guy. You know, who fucking knew? The British guy was room. the bad guy. Meanwhile, Drake remains just one step behind That girl you. there is, um... I clearly hired the wrong man for the job. Well, she keeps flipping sides. I think she's technically on my side. But, like, every time this guy comes along, she's like, Oh, actually, sorry, I'm going to have to shoot you now. Smooth things over with him. Just Yet this here. guy left me to rot in a Turkish prison out. at the start of the game, essentially. She says she had nothing to do with it. The bad guys always have more fun, yeah. She's also, I think, an old flame, because of course she is. That belongs to me. Nate? Get out of here. Give me the dagger. They'll be here any Chloe, minute. Chloe, don't make me take it from you. How am I supposed to explain where it's gone? <laughs> well, you'll think of something. You always do. Just... Just do one thing for me. Take that son of a bitch down. Yeah, I think she's an ex, because, obviously. What am I looking for? As with all things, you can't do a bit of media without a love story. Oh, we get to actually do some puzzle solving now. This is one of my favourite things about this game. Is that... It, I've got a journal, I've got to work out what the fuck they were on about. Right. Stupor at the cave entrance, Tibetan inscription, some sort of warning... Car prayers found them dead. Right. Ah, oh, I wondered how long it was going to. Do you know what? I'd completely forgotten that was. There we go. I might have to just plug this in in a minute. But it's lasted like an hour and 45 minutes since it last told me the battery was low. So no, it's going to die. Right, hang on. Give me two seconds here and I'll just plug it in.
I'm not going to lie. I'm having a nightmare. Um, plug the controller in. Apparently, unplugged something else. So, let's see how this goes. <laughs> It's fine, essentially. I am going to stick us on full cam real quickly so that I can get through the main screen without, you know, doxing myself. But let's just have a nice bit of panic red for the bullshit that's going on at the moment. Come on. I think we, d we just had a cutscene, so hopefully it's saved. Right, here we go. Transition. Yeah, do you know what? There's a reason that that's the tier one emote. It's because this is the shit that happens all the time. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. So, remaster. There we go. Do you know... Remaster is the one where they've just gone back to the old assets and essentially, I'm gonna like it's more complicated than this, but re rendered the whole thing, isn't it? A remake is where they've started from scratch, I think, because Final Fantasy VII, the new one, is a remake. There was also a remastered version which was just the old assets, I think. Don't quote me. Right. Also, there we go. That's better. What am I looking for? I was gonna say. Um, Wait a minute. I got a YouTube DMCA claim for the Uncharted theme the other day. Just the music that played on the main screen. So unfortunately, I can't monetize my video that has like one view. Sad times all around. Right, what am I doing? So, we've got some kind of dragon. Some kind of... I don't even know what the fuck that is. Um, I'm going to say a lion. And a tiger. What has that got to do with this? I'm not going to lie, I might need Nathan to actually give me a hint in a minute. He will do. He'll say something like, hey, I wonder... There we go. Right. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And what can I do with them? Place them. Awesome. Ah, this one's in the wrong spot. Damn it. Right. Okay, so... How does this page have anything to do with... Anything. Air, fire, water, earth. Right. Alright, each of these creatures... Okay. ...seems ah. to be associated with a colour. The devourer. Fire. Green tiger. Air. Dragon, water, and... Oh, it is a snow lion. Earth. Right. So. Bowl triangle. Triangle. Triangle bowl. Weird, weird thing, tiger, triangle bowl. This does work, honestly. Lift with your knees. Right, so this is supposedly the Devourer. There we go. Alright. What's next? I, I've never quite um, understood why this ancient journal that supposedly shows the way to Shangri-La exists if no one's ever made it there. 
you know, I'm not one to ask questions. Um, water, earth, which I believe is circle square. Cool. Oh, he can arms, but he can't knees for shit. Exactly. He's, look, he essentially skipped leg day, hasn't he? He's one of those gym bros who's like, nah, it's all arms. He's got to train arms. Where's Sully when you need him? Look at this angle. Like, he is going to throw his back out. Says me, who regularly one hands lifts things all the time. But, you know, when I do it, no one's watching. And no one can tell me off. I've, I've lost the... Wait, where's the... The fuck? Oh, oh, it blends in so well. There we go. Oh, my God. Oh, that... Sorry, right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 just, this just... Look at the angle he lifts this at. And he's just thrown his back out. Awful show. Awful, awful show. Right, let's chuck this down here. Right. <laughs> Leverage. Oh, that do it. <sighs> oh, my back hurts just watching him do it. Okay, oh. I've seen these symbols before. Okay, well, oh, okay. Oh, there's more to it. Yeah, exactly. I, I would not trust this in the slightest. Right, what am I... Oh, hang on, is it... Right. What? Okay. I'm going to have to fiddle around a bit, I think. Right, yeah, there's four of them, so I'm only going to be able to have four showing. So, it's not that. It's this, potentially? Yeah, it's going to be based on the colours, isn't it? So the clear one, water, is that is an A with a thing above it. Each one is matched with a colour, just like the creatures. Hang on. Hang on. What? See, now I'm going to have to remember what's what. Water is the dragon. Water is the dragon with an A with an I above it. That one. You don't get this level of build quality these days, do you? You know, here's me. I would kill to have a secret passage in my house. Here's the ancient Buddhist monks. And they've got this entire temple that's got counterweights and rotatey things and puzzles. We just don't, we don't build. We don't, we, nobody does good puzzles anymore. We need to do good puzzles. Right, this is the triangular one, which is fire. And fire, the red one, is the weird... Bear with me on this one. The man bending over to look at his extended lower region is the only way. I, I didn't even have to explain what we were talking about. We could look at it, but no, that's what I've gone with. That one? Hang on. Let's just have a look around. No, that one. Yeah. No. No. I'm amazed these things still work. Square. Earth. I'm not even going to try and explain that one. Seems about right. Yeah, you know. I know what I'm talking about. We all know what I'm talking about. That one. I can't. couldn't even tell you what that is. It's a, a sickle and a weird thing. And this one is the bowl, which is green, which is... The A with a 
lump. Right, so. Is this going to do anything of any use, or is this going to... There we go. So now what does this do? Three-sided, just like the dagger. Oh, I, I stabbed the dagger into it. That happens quite often. Is the answer to the solution is use the magic dagger. And now we climb. Please excuse the boy racers. Uh, I need to get some sound. Elena, can you hear me? Yeah. I think I just found the secret entrance. Also, I think we can really? definitely go with some yeah. blue again. You see the base some PlayStation blue. blue. It's calming. Uh huh. Meet me there. You got it. I'm on my way. Oh fuck off! Bit of common decency from the game. Uh, gotcha. Elena, can you hear me? Yeah. I think I just found the secret entrance. Really? Yeah. You see the base of the cliff with all the statues? Uh-huh. Meet me there. You got it. I'm right, on let's my try way. this again. Oh, just press triangle. Sure. Really bad for my gun. These guys are being built up far too much. Like, there's definitely, there's no way I'm getting away without a confrontation with them. The amount of time, unless they all turn out to be nice, which, based on my experience with the last one, they're not. Elena, are you there? Yeah, I'm over here. I can Elena, see you. okay, it's Elena apparently. Back to our doing? original conversation about Eleanor, Elena. Jesus is right on top of it. That's a war crime under the Geneva Convention. I found out recently on Twitter. Okay, I'm ready when you are. You're not allowed to destroy uh, national monuments. He's over here. We'll see about that. Found a great Twitter account, which is Is this a war crime under the Geneva Convention for video games? You'd be surprised how many are. Yeah, that works for me. Right, have you got a gun? Thank you. Now, I was told this game only had about two hours left, but we have just hit the two hour mark. Excusing my, um ineptitude while discussing trans rights we may be coming up on the end of the game potentially that's got to be a war cry come on oh Nate you can definitely climb that Nate stop being a dick Fine. Okay, minigun in place. I'm going to have to move my way up on it, that's how I do it. I have to deal with that guy first, though. Because otherwise he's going to flank me. Come on. Don't break the pattern, dude. Oh, fine. Yeah, there you go, see? Now he's up there. I swear. He's still up there. He's definitely still up there. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, 
no. Fuck. I need to move up on him and throw a grenade. Essentially. Thank you, Elena, for your help. Can I hit him from... I can hit him from there. Bye-bye. There we go. The laser sights are an instant kill. Which, you know, maybe doesn't track entirely that you just put a laser sight on a pistol and suddenly it's an insta kill. But... Although, someone actually popped in the other day. Um, well, the other day, the other month, the other week, when I was playing this. Or when it was playing the first one, potentially. That. And they were like, did you know, canonically, like, the in-game explanation for, like, the, um, basic Drake getting attacked and, like, dodging all the bullets and tanking all this is he's not getting shot. Maybe it's an <laughs> to kill for Arms McGee. Well, yeah. But no, apparently the canonical explanation by the game is that Drake never actually gets shot. And what you actually see on the screen as the screen goes darker and etc etc is Drake's luck running out until he actually finally gets shot when he dies. Apparently. Which, do you know what, is not my least favourite explanation a game has ever given me as to why someone can absorb bullets. Okay, no, this is incorrect, apparently. Where am I going? Right, it was under, in the centre under the statues. Where's that? There. There we go. Right, let's, ch let's just stock up. Let's just pick up all the ammo, possibly. At least they bothered to come up with an explanation. Well, there is that. I swear to God, if this game is about to... I fucking hate this game sometimes. It's just the sarcastic nature of it hinting me to go here. This is it. But, you know, at least they bothered to come up with an explanation. I will give them that. Ugh. I'm going to turn this all on my own now, aren't I? Right. Mm -hmm. Here, help me push. Okay. Oh no, no, here we go. Cool. Yeah, oh, this brings back memories. Back into it. I see what we're doing right here is just raising a great big anchor. Quick way down over here. Let's do it. Oh. Are they going to be the final boss of the game? Because we've got to be getting close. Stay back. Okay. It's facing me this way. Is this. But there's nothing here. Okay. Are we are we going down? I'm gonna try it, and it's either gonna insta kill me. Oh, it's gonna insta kill me. There we go. But now we know. This is science. Hey hey hey, Beetle. How are you doing? How was work? You are still alive, I take it. Hmm. 
Long work day, yeah. It, it does seem it. It's 10 o'clock. Exactly, I had to jump for science. I'm glad, I'm glad someone else here appreciates my need to yeet myself off large. Like, I'm going to try this. See? Science. You know, you don't find anything out unless you yeet yourself off buildings. Do you think Einstein would have discovered general relativity if he hadn't have yeeted himself? Um, I, I think he was on a train or something. I don't know. The need for yeet. I need to get my, like, once I've got space, I think I need to get myself a yeet uh, emote because we, we, we say yeet enough in, these, in this stream. Oh, fuck off with your riot shield. Anyone who's ever seen me play Call of Duty will know that I am very much a riot shield mainer. But it's better when I'm on the other side of the thing. It's not as annoying. Right, thank you. See, this is better. There we go. Of course, as we all know, the uh, past tense. No, sorry. Is it the past tense? Yes, the past. Ow. Past tense of yeet is in fact yoat, which is my favourite fact. Oh boy. Run you honestly thought I would have uh, completed this before you finished work. It must be longer than you remember. No, I was just very ineffective for a, a, a good period of time. That man just tanked three Desert Evil Eagle shots. There we go. No, I was very in ineffective. So, yote it be. Indeed. It's better than yeeted, at least, which I thought it was for a while, but then, obviously, the, being the big nerd I am, I went and looked it up, and it's like, oh no, it's yoked. I shall yeet, and ye shall be yoked. Okay, no, this doesn't work. Oh, hang on, he said they were repelling down the wall. Does that mean? No. Oh, yes. Awesome. The rope, boys. There you go, I can put together to logical thought. All right, it's all clear. Come on. Oh, shit, we're back here. This is where I murdered those people. <laughs> oh, shit, I remember this place. This is where I did a big murder. <laughs> No, wait. Oh, yes. There we go. Yeah. I was like, it can't be because this is... But no, here we go. I murder everyone. Look. Nathan Drake is a treasure hunter and he is protecting the natural heritage of the world. Therefore, where I murdered those people, I might need to narrow it down. This is, this is also very true. Uh, but it was murder. Look, technically they were shooting at me. They were throwing grenades at me, so it was murder in self-defense, which technically not illegal under the right here. circumstances. Okay. You don't see indie pulling that shit. I'm sorry. Have you been watching the same Indiana Jones uh, that I have? I mean, not as often, to be honest. There's not the hundreds of dead bodies. Secret but... entrance to Shambhala. Shambhala. There we go. Me? We're in Shambhala. Yeah. A bit like Lara. Yeah. I see it. Except Lara. Lara at least has the common decency to every now and again go, Oh God, I'm doing a lot of murder. Nate, around. don't give no shit. has to be a clue somewhere. Are you sure this is it? It has to be. We're missing something. I haven't... We're not missing anything. I haven't walked through the door yet. Right. I'm not gonna lie. Right off the bat. He did shoot... He did shoot Sword Dude, yeah. Um, fairly sure he also... Well, no, actually, no, he didn't. He wasn't involved in the guy who went into the rotor blades. Mm. Still got two chapters to go. Well, even... 
even better. Right, hang on. Ooh, oh, right, there's going to be something here. Aw. Aw. Uh, sure. Okay, cool. Oh my god. Have I got to read that? Right, I'm, I'm taking it from the fact that I'm having to read the entire book from the start. That I'm not using this here, but I'm going to take it all the way there. Yeah, this is basically, if you want to re uh, read through of the game, here we go. There we go. East, tiger east, yellow snow lion. End of it. Right. Don't know what any of that means. Okay. I don't think this is related. But no, yeah, to be fair, I don't think India's done that many murders. Comparable. But yeah, straight off the bat, don't like the weird clawed hands. Hoping that's not a, a thing that's going to come to life. I mean, we're not playing Dark Souls, but... Well, that's not useful in the slightest. I thought maybe it'd do something. Right, I'm going to go for it all down. And then if that doesn't work, we're going to go for... Oh. Okay. What? Brute force it is. Don't you love it when you just brute force a puzzle with absolutely no idea what's going on? Just stay behind me. I'm like a human enigma machine. Do it! Oh, at least grab at least grab a named character, Nate. No one cares about this guy. I should have killed you myself when I had the chance. Not Come the mistake I will make twice. Back off! Oh, pull the trigger, little one. See how long you live. Now, you will open the passage to Shambhala. Go to hell. <laughs> Are you a student of history, Mr. Drake? I've read a book it's or two. <laughs> yeah, Genghis Khan, say. Hitler, Stalin, Pol Pot. They were all great men. But do you know why they were? There we go. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to tell us. Because they had I'm, the I'm will sure. To okay, do good. Other men would not. Just really, really setting up his character here. Are those the people he chooses? Just like telegraphing it real strong that he's not a nice person. Just shoot him in the face. The entire thing will be over. I can't believe I've been playing this so long that I'm advocating for murder. So, Drake's got you have to tested me. my will. Now it is my turn to test yours. Killing us won't get you anywhere. Well, killing him, yes. But you? You hurt her. You get nothing from me. Well, then it appears we are at a stalemate. Unless I add another pawn to the board. I thought he was about to put. I thought he put the gun to his own head. Then I was like, "What the fuck is?" Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh no. Get your hands off me. Well now there's two women in trouble, now, mate, and surely one you're gonna use as a lesson and the other all chivalrous on me. Incentive to co one character for This is bullshit, Nate. Yeah, don't play into his game. You want my help, you let them go. This is not a negotiation. <laughs> Who would you sacrifice? You know, so much would be solved by Drake just <laughs> leaving whatever treasure he has after alone. Hmm? You know what enough yeah. of this shit. Alright, quit the theatrics. I'll do what you want. You know what would have solved this entire thing? Is that the second Drake got his hands on the knife, he just yeeted it into the sink. Calm down. Or just like encased it in some concrete. Right, this is the magic resin that burns like you, with a cold wait. flame. Give me your lighter. I'm still trying in my head to work out if this is like an actual thing. Because a lot, everything that happened in the first game seemed supernatural and then turned out to be real. Yeah, burns with a blue cold flame. The blue I can do, the cold I'm having issues with. Highlights the magic symbols that are hidden everywhere. Okay. Ooh. 
this, ladies and gentlemen, I believe is probably the way to Shambhala. I'm having the the age-old Skyrim question now of who's been keeping these braziers lit. Maybe this time it will get done right. You know, in Skyrim, for anyone who's played Skyrim, oh, where you, you wander into an ancient tomb that has been closed for thousands of years and the torches on the walls are lit. That. That question. Ugh. After you. Let me just. Backstabbing son of a bitch. Yeah, well, I learned from the best, didn't I? Get a move on. Come on. You first, darling. That's just the gun. with that gun, aren't you? Oh, right. For science. Just give me an excuse, gun. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do now? <sighs> Just give me an excuse, girl. Fine. Well, I did the science. This guy, I'm fairly sure that I, like, this guy was a someone I knew at the start of the game. Like, as in, like, he was a friend, so this... Betrayal is coming out of nowhere. Or maybe it's not, I don't know. He's one of those friends where, like, you know, the, the game's like, oh, it's you. Michael, or whatever his name is. Oh, I don't trust him, but I have to work with him because, for we are both treasure hunters. There we go, that's where I'm going. Okay, I... wait. Wait, what? Also, I'm fairly sure I just... there, yeah, I did. There we go. I'm pretty sure there's like 200 of these. There's, yeah, 100. And I found 22. Harry. That sounds about right. Harry does sound like a, a name that would be his, so we'll go with Harry. Right, um... Again, we're now, like, in the platforming section. Like, Shambhala can only be found by, like, free runners and parkour experts. Like, this, but this has been a running theme. Enjoy your lurk there, Beetle. I hope that means that you're finally driving home. I can't believe Lazarevich hasn't killed you yet. Give me a boost, buddy. <laughs> buddy. There we go. Yeet. Oh, look out, it's a stone sword. What? Uh, yeah. Hey! Sorry. Is that blocking your Lol. path? Glad you find this so funny. Huh. Oh, wait for me! You Sorry dickhead. Great. What's wrong, ah. mate? <laughs> Don't you trust me? Yeah, funnily, no. There you go, sweetheart. Right. Get ahead of me. Go on. I think, yeah, two chapters to go. It's 26 chapters, isn't it? So, I'm going to go with... Platforming chapter, boss fight. So this will probably be the platforming chapter, and then I imagine the final chapter will be the boss fight. Quite what the boss fight is going to be, I don't want to speculate, because... The yetis that I was very sure we were going to run into, we've not yet run into again. Oh, come on. Lift with the... Come on. Help Lift with those this. knees. Aye, aye. Okay, teamwork. Just like the good old days, eh? Hmm. Right. Hoi. Now, how did they get... 
Nope. Thought maybe I could grab the tree things. I was going to keep saying science every time we do this and... I'm going to drop? No. Just sometimes the platforms are like really obscure and you don't realise they're there. Is my excuse. Right, I'm now going to climb across the obvious ledge um, in the waterfall. See, I'm just testing for this point, obviously. Okay. Cares. We just have to get up high. Flutch the push the cart. No, help me push this. What? The fuck has this got to do with stone? I'm assuming that's something in their past. Come on, girly girl. There you go. Oh. Your mom. Go. Oh, great. We're starting on the you're a girl jokes and the your mum jokes. What a bunch of. <laughs> Mature adults, we are. Come on. Come on. No, come on. Look, the way this camera is tilting. What? Is, oh, 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 oh. No, no, there we go. He reached, he reached, he reached. There we go. Oh, okay. 100% did not see that. Mm -hmm. Oh look, a life-size statue of your ego. <sighs> Hope you can make that jump on your own. I sure as hell am not going to help you. Your mum's chest hair. Your mum is so fat. I can't she. Help. Help. I don't I'm know. Did you know that Google apparently does your mama jokes now? Hang on. <sighs> your mum is so fat. Sexual existence of your words is still very real. You should choose them wisely. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know if you caught that, but Google's guilt tripping me. Google just turned around to me and went, I'm a virtual assistant, but your words are still very w real, and you should choose them wisely. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. You know you know how they say that like the only only thing that is holding back the... Uh, the machine uprising is your grandma saying thanks to uh, to Google when it answers the question. I'm the only thing that's like sort of accelerating it forwards. Okay. Basically, you know, me and your grandma. So what do you have to do? What do we have to do? Mortal rivals or something. As usual, I'll take Just angered Skynet. It's Would fine. Wait. It's fine. I, for what? one, welcome our over overlords. I know those symbols. You do? Oh, are they are they the right. Right. I want to say there's gonna be more to this. However, I, I very much doubt that there is. Here we go. Uh, a with an I, fat A, A with a scythe. Such a little book, such big cylinders. Look at that arm strength. As the world turns. Seriously, Drake has just been doing arm day, hasn't he? Right. A with an I. Come on. Fat A. A with a scythe somewhere. That snake with an eye. That's a weird thing. That's... I don't know what that is. A with a scythe. Okay. Oh, God. Right, here we go. And R uh, and boom. Right. Uh, a with a bit chopped off, weird looking thing, snake with an eye. 
Do you know what I'm going to say this? That, no, that's weird looking. Can't say with a bit chopped off. Shoot my ears off, please. Oh, bants. Proper bants, lads. Okay. Talking about the Skynet thing. My co-worker, and I'm, I've, I've shared this before, so if you've heard this before, just, I don't know, pretend you haven't. Um, my co-worker has a theory that the... Um... Wait. Wait. Wait, are you telling me this is wrong? Morning, Scott. How are you doing? It's, it's morning somewhere. So. Really? I'm like 99% sure that's right. Okay. Anyway, back to my theory. Uh, well, not my theory. My co-worker's theory. His theory is that when the robot uprising comes, it's not going to be Skynet with like terminators and all that kind of shit it's just gonna be robots are just essentially just going to annoy us you know your printer will just keep jamming every day and it's just just, just puts you that little bit on edge all the lights will be red your entire way to work you know the coffee machine will eat your money all that kind of stuff and eventually eventually we'll all just go homicidal and you know what that sounds a lot less labour intensive for uh, Skynet to pull off. Crashing before I save stuff. Mouse invert. Yeah, exactly. All that kind of stuff. That's exactly what it is going to do. And let me tell you, I never save shit. I am notorious. Like, I never learn. I never save. Thank God for autosave. Right. I can't work out why this is wrong. The Endless Knot, the Chintamani Stone. Autocorrect going rampant, exactly. You do wonder if the government has stopped Sky TV inventing, investing in AI, and you never know. But yeah, I don't... Hmm, what? Oh, 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 hang on. What? No, no. That's not a thing, apparently. I mean, these definitely look like things. So. Okay. But hey, you never know. Yeah, Sky TV permanently banned from ever bringing out anything called Skynet. Although Boston Dynamics are doing enough for the Terminators. They've already got robots. Like, that's my favourite. Is the, the Boston Dynamics have come up with robots that can walk and hold guns. And how do they test them? They prod them with brooms. They push them over. They bully them, essentially. One day one of those things is going to snap. They've made a robot that can hold a handgun and go into war. And they're bullying it. Right, the actual fuck are we doing here? Ugh. Sky did force Microsoft to change the name of SkyDrive to OneDrive, so it's the easiest way to prevent Skynet. Mm, this is true. Okay. I didn't know that about OneDrive. Although I was aware of SkyDrive, funnily enough. Did not realise that they were the same thing. Okay. The... I'm missing something here, and it's going to be really bloody blatant when I see it, isn't it? Oh. Oh. Fuck. They're the wrong way round. The knot, the Chintamani stone. The knot, the Chintamani stone. Fuck. Fine. 
fine, fine, fine. Fuck you, game. They're the wrong way round in the book. Of course they are. I knew it wasn't going to be as simple as I thought it was. Right. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. A with an I, fat A, A with a psych. Hang on. Whoa, back up. No. Okay, I wondered if they were sort of in line, like, with the face to one side or the other of them, but no. Right. A with an I. Fat A. A with a side. I got this. I hope I've got this. A with a side. Right. Yeet. Oh, I should probably actually look what I'm trying to build. Uh, cut off a weird thing. Snake with an eye. weird thing not cut off A. There we go. Cut off A. I think it's this way to... I think they're all in the same order. Yeah. Weird thing. Snake with an eye. That's the one. No. Snake. Nate, put it away. Snake with an eye. Right, come on, I got this. Snake with an eye. What's that? Just came out the floor. Oh, it's some kind of turny thing. Come on, make yourself useful. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Before we turn this, and it potentially turns itself into um, a cutscene, I'm just going to take a real short, quick uh, break. Uh, we'll literally be like a minute, max two, maybe. Uh, just give me two seconds. And I'll be right back with it, and we'll finally find out what the final boss of this game is, and I bet it's Yetis.
You mean this glowing apple of Eden? Uh, it was a gift. It turns on and off. Um, I, I've, I've inquired where I got it from. Or where it was bought for me from. Either Amazon or Forbidden Planet is the answer I got. But yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Like, I, I need to turn it on more often. I have it sort of displayed up at the back with all my other stuff. And I keep thinking I should have it on for ambience. But it's cool. I like it. But yeah, it's uh, somewhere nerdy, essentially, is where it came from. I don't know where, as it was a gift for me. And the person who bought it can't remember where we got it from. So, shiny, shiny, shiny. To be fair, like, I've got, it's on the same thing as we've got a whole load of, we got a whole load of fairy lights, like, fairy lights for Christmas. Um, but, like, you know, just, like, ambient fairy light type things. And they're still there because they're actually kind of nice to have on rather than the main light. I should probably turn it on at the same time as those. But yeah, it's cool. And I thought I would uh, put it in there. Also, I missed whether the music went funny or not, but it more than likely did. That'll just have been the uh, the processor in my computer having a hiccup. It does that. At least it hasn't murdered anything else. Well, as far as I know. You know. I might start the game again and it'll just be lagging all over the shop. But, ooh. Sorry, I, ju I just accidentally almost started my raid video. And that would have really fucked with the processor. Hopefully it didn't actually work. But Right, anyway, shall we continue? Skynet. Oh god, it is Skynet. Yes, it's Skynet. Skynet's fucking with my stream. They heard me talk and they're like, oh god, he knows. What are we grinding? Wait, what is this? And they're like, quick, take him down. Take him off the air. Anyway, what are we doing? Okay, here we go, here we go. You know, I do need to do more with this, actually. It has just been sort of... Before I took the photo for the screen, it has just been... Oh, shit. Um, sitting, gathering dust. Also, shut fuck. It's the Yeetis. Yeeti the Yetis. Thank you for the gun. Oh, thanks for the... I hate them. Oh, shit. I hate them. I actually I actually legitimately hate them. Hey, at least it's doing the nice thing it does when I fight these in that I have infinite ammo. I essentially... I can't fight these things normally. I have to wait until they attack me. But not take too much damage. I hate them. Yeah, I have to wait until they do shit like this, then dodge, kick it in the face, run away, run away. Ow. Shit. This was bad enough when I fought one of them. Gonna... Hang on, maybe. Hey, do you think I could just leave him to it? Yetis can't. Cl oh shit. Yet he can climb, it turns out. Oh, at least I have regenerating health. Right, there we go, right. Dodge. Kick him in the face. The actual thing I need them to do is there's another move they do where they grab me and I get to just shoot him in the face. Sound advice for life. Dodge it, kick it in the face and run away. How far am I into this? I believe this is the... It will be, actually, no, sorry. This is the second to last chapter. Oh, shit. No, stop ganging up on me. Shit. Oh, they just... I'm gonna I'm gonna shit on a 15 year old game again. There is not a viable dodge mechanic in this game. Like the dodges is not responsive in the slightest. Oh, I hate it. You can't remember. Very Come on. Thanks, Harry. Thanks, Harry, for backing me up here. This thing. Right. 
like there's... I'm wondering if I'm supposed to be doing something else here. Because fighting four of these things at the same time does not seem feasible. Especially when they keep doing that, like running from off the screen and I can't see where they're coming from. To there we go. At least my health regenerates kind of nicely. Do you know what? I think the answer here is just not aiming. I've got infinite ammo. Hey. Survive until a cutscene. I love it. Here to see you, Reznov. Hold him. What the hell are those things? Yetis. <laughs> Not what? Yetis. Men in Scarecrows. costumes. Guardians to frighten trespassers. Yeah. Well, it's bloody damn <laughs> Did he just laugh like the Zombie. count? One yeti. Ah, what you asked. ah, ah. Let them go. Two Always yeti. Bargaining. Ah, But you have ah, played your last ah. And lost. Looks like it's the end of the road, mate. No, 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 no. Not yet. <laughs> I want him to see Shambhala. And die knowing that I have taken it from him. Open the gate! Do you think Nate realises that if he had just not got involved, then these people would not have found Chambala? Not Yeti. Oh god. The Yeti puns are coming thick and fast. A bit like the Yetis. Oh no. Shambhala is actually quite pretty. I love it. Sound sync is off a bit. Okay. Now. You have been a thorn in my side. For Hang on. The game long. sound sync or my sound sync? Because one of those I can do on something your knees. about. Hey, hey. Uh, Zorin. We had a deal. I do not suffer traitors. Oh, right, so I suppose you know exactly how to find stone then, won't be needing me. Because if it's just that my capture card is dying a death, there's nothing I can do about that, unfortunately, other than buy a new one. Thanks. Maybe reset it. Right. <laughs> Both, actually. Fantastic. <laughs> Let me try the, uh, the age-old trick of just turn it off and on again. Two seconds. And now we try this. Fire your force! Hey, we're running. Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Go, go, go. No, not that way. What? Wait, what? No, hang on. What? Oh, crap. Um. Yeah, the fact that they're both off it says to me that the processor was having an issue. If my my one is still off, then I can fiddle that around better. I'll have just been sat on that for too long, or they have been doing something that it's not fine. Doing too much processing. 
What do you know? My processor can't handle too much processing. One of my biggest fears is being crushed to death. I did not like that. Hey, at least I fell off that time. You had one job. One job. That is all you're supposed to do. I, I'm assuming I just stay here, maybe. There we go. Don't move. Okay, there we go. I thought it crashed for a second. Okay. We need to get the hell out of here now. I couldn't sleep for days after I saw that last time. That was originally for the processor, but it seems to fit here too. Yeah, I assumed it was for the processor. No time to but, yeah, it, it, it does Let's fit in general. Look, ge look, generally, generally anything that I do, you could generally sum up with, you had one job. One job here. <laughs> oh, I thought I was about to fail my way out of that one. Ooh, some chest high walls. Ah, yes. It's done that thing it does where we start a new chapter and it takes all my guns away. Oh, okay. So I, I pressed to pick up the gun like when it started the cutscene. Apparently, us. that pauses it. Let's hope we have better luck making it out. Yeah. Yeah, my poor processor. 60, 70 years. My poor hey. CPU. It doesn't. It Didn't doesn't seem like to do it. Much good, but here. It doesn't like me streaming. Mm -hmm. Well, the Zarovich and his Bring on the GPU. Into the city. So if we can just make it. Which, funnily the enough, they said 40 had come in, now. but then the person who was no, in Chloe, position 57 says that he. Received it, Lazarevich. and it's like, hmm. And how exactly do you plan so on more than that? forty have come in. Get to the stone so first I am quietly confident, well, well, quietly, quietly well, hoping that they've actually had a shipment of one hundred and fifty. I don't know what to believe anymore. Okay, well, just in case you missed it, that man is and that I'm getting it this Saturday. He thinks he's fulfilling some sort of prophecy that the stone will somehow make him invincible. Immortal. <laughs> We're standing in the middle of Shambhala, and you're questioning what's possible? Yeah, you saw how many bullets they pumped into those things? Something strange is going on here. All the more reason why we should mm -hmm. get out while we still can. That's Claudia Black, is it? trying to set things right. And maybe save the world? Oh, God. <laughs> Listen, Sunshine. The world doesn't care. You stick your neck out, you are asking to lose your head. You said yourself you Fuck. want to take this guy down. Yes, and I want to see him pay more than you do. But that's not how it will end. This, this is how it will end. No, not this time. Fuck, so it is. How would I not pick that up? Now you've said it, I'm like, Come yes, on. that is 100% Claudia Black. What do you say? That you're crazy. But let's go save your bloody world. Well, never let it be said that Uncharted does not have a star-studded cast. Right, where am I going? Cool. I like that it's loaded me up on as much ammo and weapons as I could possibly hold. Shit, hate it. No. Don't like it. Where is it? Short controlled bursts. Not the level of uh, confidence and planning I would have if I was actually in this situation. More like blind fire, to be honest. Right, 
Come on, where are you? I thought it was odd that it was giving me so much stuff. Stop hitting Claudia Black. Thank you. Oh. This crossbow was an insta-kill earlier. Is it still an insta-kill on these guys? If I could hit them, we'd find out. It fucking is. Oh, I fucking love it. Oh, mate, you like you're you're, you're being all twirly twirly. But little do you know how much of a bad day you're about to have. Where are you? Come on. Hey, this is thank you. So this is an insta kill. Oh, I can't get his exploding thing. That's for sure. I'm trying to work out whether the two, um, I don't know what they're called, but like the two essentially bow bits on the crossbow is doing anything for it. I should ask my brother. He does competitive archery. He'd know. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just for aesthetic value or redundancy. Okay, that didn't work. Yeah, ladies, don't mind me. What was the question you got distracted? I was trying to work out, right, whether the two um, essentially stringed bits on here were doing anything for the bow or not. And I was saying my brother would probably know because he was he's a comp well, he technically is a competitive archer still. He just hasn't, I don't think, competed in a while. But he was captain of the archery club, so I assume he would know. But I can't work out whether it's doing anything, having two things there or whether it's just redundant extra crossbow limbs that's weird there there we go speaking speaking of crossbow limbs you might, as as you competed as well you might get a bit more out of this than others apparently when my brother was um like head of the archery club in university a guy showed up with a crossbow like, you know, wanting to practice, and they had to tell him that no, if he fired that thing in here, it would go straight through the target and embed itself in the concrete wall behind it by a few feet. And that he had to please go away <laughs> with his crossbow. Yeah, apparently he just had a crossbow, and they were like, I, my brother, my brother after the fact said, I'm pretty sure that's a, uh, that's an offensive weapon. Yeah. Apparently, just had a crossbow, apparently. make these jobs. But yeah, he was like, I'm pretty sure that's an offensive weapon that you, you probably need, like, a gun license for. Yeah, I don't know. People are weird. Look, it's, it's, you know, it's... it's you, you meet people like that in university. How you doing back there? We're coming. Careful. You had enough trouble with the guy using massive homemade arrows with his longbow, but that is nuts. Look, Pete, I think... I think... Archery, from what I understand, attracts a certain subset of people who are like, I want to, I want to fire the big murder thing. Hey, that's sad. It's just like the resin. Or you know, live out Stuff your. Uh... Stand back. Okay. How am I, What, Nate? What am I? What am I supposed to be doing with this? There we go. What the hell? Oh my god! What is that? You had a crossbow. It was fine. You're just not allowed it in public, right? Creepy. Okay. Same with the bow, illegal to carry it strong. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, so it's, it's an walking around with a crossbow in public, offensive weapon. So yeah, I think that was probably what... It's been a while. It's probably what he was getting at is that... You know, how had he brought it in that day without it being an offensive weapon? But... I don't know. Archery is one of those things that I always sort of... In fact, I don't know why I'm saying sort of wished I could have taken up 
I should probably take it up once I, we get out of this. You know, once we are in the after times. You know, just add it to the list. <laughs> the venue insurance probably didn't cover crossbows. Yeah, there's probably that. It's like, if you, if you fire that and embed it in the wall, we are not getting our deposit back. But no, I once tried to pull back my brother's, um, I think he had a £60 draw bow. I once tried to pull that back, and it was more of an arm workout than I was expecting. Go. Not going to lie. From your scouting days, you could have pursued archery more, but never did. It's one of those things that, like, had never actually occurred to me until, like, like, there was all sorts. Like, I wanted to join the fencing club when I was in university, but it was a bit of a walk, and so I never did. <laughs> That's how lazy I was. It was like, you'll have to walk for half an hour to get there. I have lost all interest. Thank you. It's all so beautiful. This place really must have been something back in the day. Kind of quiet. It does feel kind of haunted, doesn't it? Okay, apparently bullets uh, run out after a while. Oh, there we go. You were fencing. Oh! Awesome, you're a fencing instructor now. That sounds like cool. <laughs> if you use your bow now with no training regime, you'd be shaky as shit, yeah. Yeah, he needs to get those Drake arms. Maybe that's how he does it. You never knew it was there when we were at uni. It was apparently over on normal side, Scott. So I, I never ventured over there. But yeah, being a fencing instructor does sound really cool. Um, yeah, I should have done it. My housemate at the time wanted to do it as well. Um, and we were like, oh, we'll go. And then we never did. I th Actually, I think she went. I think she went to do it. And I never did. Look, I was, I was I was very introverted in those days. <laughs> I didn't do things where I'd had to socialise with people. I didn't go outside. I mean, much like now. It was, it was essentially perfect preparation for right here, right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. We got company. Again? We do. Told you. Too damn quiet. Where? Maybe they haven't seen us yet. Lena, get back. Well, I can't see him. I haven't seen him yet. Soldiers are crawling all over the place. You would offer it for free after Olympics with the Scouts. Never had the update taking kids, hence the free training. Eh, fair enough. Okay. Oh, fuck these guys. Right, hang on. Hang Ooh, 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 ooh. Lol. Right. Huh. Apparently the crossbow doesn't work against the fully armoured juggernaut. Crap. But yeah, it's one of those things. Like, I, mean, I, was, I was surprised to find that we actually have local archery clubs around here. It's a kind of thing I've never really considered existed. But of course it does, because people compete competitively. There's a whole other world out there. It's full of people with bows. And swords, apparently. Which makes me kind of upset that I'm in the part of it. Because I want to be a part of a world with bows and swords. There's still a guy with a minigun out there somewhere. And I'm not a fan of not knowing where he is. Fucking die. Oh, no. Okay, I'm 
amount of bullets. Where is the guy with the mini? I don't want to jump down and get more bullets when I don't know where the guy with the mini gun is. But I may actually end up having to do some. Oh, yeah, fuck you. I'll take your gun if that's all right. Thank you. I don't think I've uh, properly said how happy I am that this game actually does shotguns properly. As in, you know, they don't turn into BB guns after about 400 yards. I'm going to have to go down there and look for this guy, aren't I? He's probably wandered off and got himself stuck in some corner somewhere. No, I, I want that, and I want the grenade. Thank you. Right, where is he? I like the little clicky beat we've got going in the background. Are we... are we done? It's acting like I'm still in a fight, but there's no one here. Oh, there he is. I mean, I hear him, but I don't see him. There he is. on with your scouts at the moment by the way Scott out of interest like I, I could assume that it's all basically just shut down but... oh don't do a one-on-one -on -one fight with those guys okay noted Oh, the minigun. The minigun. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Just try and aggro them. Where did that guy go? Running remote sessions, but the numbers have been dropping considerably. I, I, I can sort of see why that might be the case. You know. Okay. I, I guess it's it's probably hard to uh, keep kids engaged when it's all Zoom-based. Which, to be fair, I can empathise with. Because it's hard to keep me engaged when everything's Zoom-based at the moment as well. Right, it's a tap one. Cool. Damn it, it's stuck. Ah, the other counterweight's missing. Well, you look about the right size. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Can I just like? Surely the answer here would be to shoot the other one off. But okay. That's not the answer. The answer is for me to go be a counterweight, isn't it? I mean, 
that's not what I meant to do, but okay. Come on. What? What? No, why do you keep doing that, Nate? I'd like you to pathfind your way onto the hold, please. There's a handhold here. Grab it. There we go. All right, I'm on it. Okay, here we go. There we go. For your interview yesterday, you had someone who's video conferencing. Go. Made you wonder where to look, as there are also people in the room. That that does sound awkward. Also, also, um, I believe congratulations are in order from what I can tell on Instagram. Um, I believe I believe you have a job, maybe Scott. Finally. So if if that is the case, congratulations. I know you have been waiting for a while, so. Fuck you, particularly. Ah. Uh, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, maybe not. believe that what started off as this will probably take about two hours has become so um I mean sure it's only a TA job but it's a foot in the school oh no that's exactly it yeah should help a lot with their teaching job in September I mean hopefully yeah I mean hopefully Schools will be, um, although I believe yeah, schools are running at the moment, aren't they? But I imagine there will be much call for teachers, yeah, unfortunately, when we get to um, September. Come on, no. Oh, you bastard, you bastard. <sighs> Right, sorry, I need to stop rushing. I don't know about everyone else. This is an issue I run into with games. Where once I know what I'm doing, I seem to be of the opinion that I should just be able to do it. Every they haven't shut since before February half term last year. Really? Oh, wow, well, this just shows how much I know about uh, the current situation with schools. I thought they'd all been um, closed. I mean, fuck that guy with the launcher, first of all. Fuck that guy, fuck that guy. Fuck all of them. Get annoyed with yourself and you inevitably don't do it. Yeah, this is this is why this is why I suck so much at Dark Souls, is because I just get so frustrated with myself. I don't have the patience. I've clearly been reading the Daily Mail. No, what I've what I've been reading is I've been reading people having a go at the Daily Mail on Twitter, and obviously just absorbed too much of it. You know, I'm not yet of the opinion that Meghan Markle needs a citizenship. Uh, being removed, so I'm doing well so far. That's apparently the new thing. Harry and Meghan should have their citizenship removed if they don't want to live in our country. I think some people should have their citizenship removed, but it's not them. I mean, no, I don't think that at all. But it's a dangerous precedent. Okay. 
Oh, fuck you. There we go. Cool. Oh, who's... No, fuck. Who's shooting me? Who's shooting me? I didn't know you existed. Right. See, this is doubly annoying now, is that I know I've actually technically completed this area. Okay. Okay. I can't guarantee that that's going to work. So what I should probably do is just shoot the fucker up there. Thank you. It's, it's frustrating to the nth degree, but we got this. You're blind fire. There we go. So, I am now aware that there's some dudes under here. Chill beans. The chillest of beans. There's 100% some dudes around there somewhere. Right. There's no one down there, okay? We're all on the same page with there being no one there. Right. As long as we're all in agreement... Oh, did you guys sneak down that way? Is that what you did? Right, I don't believe it. So. There we go. Now I'm happier. You guys all right? Can't be that. Oh, a dragon sniper. Awesome. I will not be picking that up. Lol. Looks like we need to get up to that ledge. Let's use the cart. Very much no. lol. We'll not be com after what we just went through. I will not be complaining at taking out the entire section with one shot. Nice work, guys. Thanks for the help, Chloe. Don't mention it. Right up the stairs. Come on. Let's go for a slight jog. There it is. <clears throat> There what is? Like, I thought this whole place was Shambhala. What's this? Also, I hate this camera angle. What's the game playing at? Understand what it was going for, but could have done it in a cutscene. Oh, shit! Get down! Guardians die, shoot them! No! Let them kill the Russians! Fuck it, I'm not getting involved. I'm not getting involved in this. Seems like a them problem. Like 100% seems like a them problem. Don't do it, Elena. Fuck's sake. 
she does this consistently. She gets involved where she's not needed. And now I'm getting grenades thrown out. I deserve that. The grenade launcher is not a shotgun. The grenade launcher is not a shotgun. I don't get why sometimes it doesn't explode. Right, the grenade launcher is not a shotgun. The grenade launcher is not a shotgun. I mean, Elena can tank it, apparently. This looks very much like end, end times type shit here. Good. There we go. I don't think, I don't think these things explode unless they hit people, which doesn't make sense. Do I want to hear a bad joke you just saw? Absolutely always, any time. Bad jokes, never, always, yes, every time. <laughs> Why are Peter Parker Parker's shirts so wrinkly? I don't know, go on. Trying to think of something. No. No, no, I've got nothing. I've got absolutely. I'm trying to. Spider Man jokes, great power, great responsibility jokes, got nothing. Because he doesn't have an iron man. That is my response. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Yeah, I love it. Absolutely love it. Hey, we've reached the point in the stream where the TV is threatening to turn off. One day I will actually turn off the, uh, the timer because I never once used it. It's fine. No, I, I love it. I 100% love bad jokes. They are my thing. I'm all down with that aesthetic. Thank you. Right. Hopefully no one else is coming through there. So I can... I don't know where that guy is going, but... Because it doesn't have an iron man. Oh, fuck. Hadn't even considered that this was an MCU-wide... Or even a Marvel-wide joke. That's even better. So we've got to so many levels. Let's do this. This thing's an instant. Ah! Don't like it. 
Oh no! Full disclosure, it was on the mummy posting page. Oh, no, hey, that's fair. That's fair. That's that's allowed. Just just in case I see it later, and I'm like, hang on a minute, I have been had. Oh, okay. That mummy posting page is one of my favourite things I've found on Facebook in a while. It almost redeems Facebook for me. <laughs> so glad I found a group of people who uh, also inexplicably adore the mummy <laughs> to the same degree I do. Same degree we all do, because we all have taste. No, wait, you're supposed to be dead. Okay, all clear. And now this is the end. I don't like this music that's swelling. Not a fan. Who doesn't love the mummy? Weird people, Scott. Weird people. People we don't want to know. Okay, what am I doing here? I mean, no, that's overkill. There we go. Does this do something? No. What am I doing? Brendan Fraser version. Yes, the only, only acceptable version. All three of them. Even if the third one is... Not up to scratch with the other ones, it's still a damn good movie in comparison to everything else. Through here, maybe? Yeah. No. Oh, through here. I assume. Stone's gotta be here somewhere. Let's try heading up. All right. right, let's go find the Chintamani stone. Which apparently is going to grant me everlasting life. I mean, I doubt it is. But otherwise, you know, the next two games following this will be inexplicably easy. Come on, we better hurry. I mean, Drake's cardio is also pretty good while we're talking about his workout regime because he's not broken a sweat and he's running up a lot of stairs here. I couldn't do this. This is this is a lot of stairs. All right, we're almost there. Although he does sound out of breath. Cutscene. There it is, the Chintamani stone. I can't believe we beat them here. It's beautiful. Yep. I can't believe we beat them here either. Now let's smash it. Like I don't believe we beat them here. Wait, don't smash it. Not right. What do you mean? Marco Polo had it wrong. This isn't a sapphire; it's amber. Amber. Yeah, you know, fossilized resin. It's tree sap. If you start going on that tree of life. What is it? You gotta be shitting me. Hello, Nate. I hate it when he does this. Tell me about you it. You gotta be shitting me. How could I have missed it? Missed what? Mm. There's not actually a stone. It's the resin, the sap from the tree of life. Okay, hold on. Now you've lost me. This tree. No. <laughs> that tree. That tree. Do you know what? Talking about the mummy. There he is. Like, a Was Brendan Fraser era mummy to the tree. game with this kind of oh my God. setup. The black teeth. 
would be very the good. black teeth on those guardian things in the bodies in Borneo. They ate the resin, and it changed them uh -huh. somehow. And you think that's what Lazarevich is planning to do? Well, you really want to wait around and find out? Bravo, shut up. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well done. Flynn? Jesus. Oh, Harry. What's the matter, mate? Disappointed oh, Lazara bitch beat you to it. I'm afraid you just missed him. Figured I'd I think there was a home. game, but Reboot Regret. Yeah, no, there is a game. My little because I've seen it on um, Worst Games Ever. <laughs> Maybe that's what It's I'm apparently not great. I think you play as both. You, it's one of these games that's got two campaigns. You've got a campaign playing as. Um, no, we can help you. Sorry, Brendan no. Fraser and crew, and then you've got one campaign playing and you're as not Imhotep. Fucking girl who reforms the villain you know, saves the coming game. in opposite directions. It's just not. And obviously, you know, crossover like in the middle, like, and then listen, Imhotep wins. Or, but yeah, it wasn't a great game. I think it's it's a typical took the pin. movie tie-in game, later. essentially. But yeah, no, a proper reboot, a properly done reboot would be great. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Oh my god. Helena! Okay. You're gonna be okay. Come on, we're gonna get Helena, you. Helena, you just Come on. took a frag Stop. grenade. Go. Literally Come on. full face. <laughs> What's the name of her cameraman who got shot a couple of times and died? Because he's looking Shit. more and more <laughs> like a. Uh, this way. Like he was in the wrong profession, tying up to Elena. Ah, uh, no. Fuck, no. Will you? Will you really? Oh shit, those lasers are coming from the other direction. Wait here. That worked. That also worked. Jeff. Was that his name? Jeff? Yeah, that's it. Poor Jeff. Poor Jeff died for nothing. Oh, there we go. You can do it. God, I love a sniper rifle. Watch out. Okay. We Little got company. Here we go. Okay, hang back. Okay, maybe not amazing up close, but... Right, let's try this again. Yep. Poor Jeff. I keep forgetting about Jeff. Especially that bit where we literally walked around essentially using him as a human shield <laughs> when we were supposedly getting him to safety. I still don't know how to cancel a grenade when I've started it. Oh shit. It's what NPCs are for, exactly. Oh, I thought I was going to get away with that. It's exactly what NPCs are for. They soak up all of the bullets for us. Right. But yeah, poor Jeff. He had a name. He was at least a named character. And yet he did not survive Lazarevich, which is apparently this guy's name. I don't know why I preferred Reznov, but... There okay, we go. We're gonna move. Come on. Up we go. You can do it. We got company. Watch out. Okay. A little bit further. Here we go. Okay, hang back. Right. Those two guys over there is who, are who I need to actually take out. 
because they're going to be the hard guys to take down. But, saying that... Fuck you! Step over this. Watch your step. Uh, do it. Come on, one big step. Uh. I think that's the last of them. He keeps doing a cutscene. I keep thinking, right, this is definitely the end of this section, and it's hey, not. Lena, how you doing, huh? This game is much longer than two hours from where we were. I think I was lied to. Not good. You just hang in there, okay? I'm counting on you. Head for the gate. Go as fast as you can. What, what, what do you mean? No. No way. Look, Chloe, I have Any day now, so any day now, this game will end. Not that I want the game to end. Stupid crusade. <clears throat> Just get her out of here. Not without you. Look, if that stuff could really transform Lazarevich and his army. Please don't do this. If it could actually make him invincible, but, you know, I, made I didn't plans. try to stop it. But this is suicide. And you know it. Not that I'm complaining, because I was wondering what Just I was going to do for the next two hours of the stream if I was going to do anything at all. Away from this but... place as you can. Okay. Right, we've left them behind. Oh my god. Right, cool. 26, Tree of Life. Right. It never ends. It's a never-ending game. Right, in theory, this is the final chapter. So, potentially, through here, boss fight. Looks like a nice big round arena. Ooh. Oh yeah, this be a boss. Fantastic, we've hit the boss. Final boss? I'm assuming final boss. Because it wasn't the Yetis. Oh, he's healing. Final boss. Okay. Here we go. Have I got to deal with all of his cronies as well? Oh no. He's Sorry, mine. Pal. Awesome. You're not my type. Uh -huh. So what you... I, I see what you're going for, Nate, but what you've in fact actually done is created a ring. Which means I can't run through the middle of this boss fight arena. No, no, this is where no. this is you going, isn't it? To be kidding me. <laughs> Menacing oh, laugh. Oh shit. Okay, now we are straight into it. Okay. Is this guy actually invincible? Because the other guys could die. Like the Yeti people could die. Right, it's giving me lots of grenades. Oh boy, um... Just shooting him will not work. Okay, okay. 
I mean, that would be too easy, I guess. Come and get me. Ah! Ooh, hang on. Hang on. Ah, uh, yes, yes, he's done what I was just thinking. Where is he? Come on. Oh, no, what? No, he keeps... What? No, he's shooting the things I want to shoot. I was going to say shoot these. Right, there we go. You think you can stop me? Yeah. Ow. 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 Uh, don't, don't, don't. Ow. Punchy, punchy. Fuck off, punchy. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go with that's what I meant to do. Come on, where are you? Follow me over? Yes. You cannot hide. Awesome. Love to hear it. Love to hear that I can't hide. I hate this with a passion. I mean, I also adore this. This is a fantastic boss fight. Come and get me. Uh, have I missed a comment? Sorry, I just... Oh, yes. Sorry, I missed that entirely too. Sorry, yes. You have a good You have a good night. Uh, if you're still here at all. If not, apologies. But yeah, you have a good night. You have a good rest. And I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to try and finish this off. But thank you for the the compliment on the stream. Bada. Hey, you're still here. <laughs> oh, good. Got distracted by a boss fight. But yes. Yeah, you have a you have a good night, and oh, they grow back. And if I don't speak to you for the weekend, you have a good weekend too. Stand ah, fuck you. Fight. Boss, 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 boss. It is a very distracting boss. I'll give you that. Oh, come on. Come on you He's not doing the amount of damage to me that I would have thought. Right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, fuck you. Yes. You will not Thank you very much. See you soon. Thank you for popping in. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, shit. No, thank you. Oh, I don't like... How many grenades has he got? Come on, come on, come on. Up here, up here. He's disappeared. Oh, no. Ooh, ah. Don't like it. I mean, adore the gameplay, but don't like the. Am I? I'm assuming I'm not supposed to be doing anything else when he gets hit by those things. I am just slowly doing damage to him this way. Because when I got involved with him after shooting that, he went down. No, no, uh, sorry, I got screwed over. Oh, no, 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 no. Also, now he's running after me rather than walking. Oh, sir. Oh, fuck off. Just hit him with it. Fantastic. Fantastic news. I mean, not so fantastic, but... Oh, now, do you think the game's been nice? And do you think it saves multi-stage on the boss fight? 
It would appear to because it didn't play the cutscene there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, you big smelly Russian man. I say, I've never successfully blown that one up. Though. He always blows it up on me, so maybe I need to stop trying. Okay, okay. You think you can stop me? I that's that's the premise. Ah, oh, he's running now, isn't he? Yep. Fuck, hate it, hate it, hate it. Oh shit. He's blowing these up really successfully. Come on, Lazara bitch. Harry will live on in our hearts in the phrase Lazara bitch. There he is. Come on, come on, come on. Oh shit. Come and oh, get shit. Oh. Come on. Up. And down. Up. And down. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. But... No! Oh, of all the times I don't want you to grab ledges. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's still going. Yeah. Hey, no worries, Scott. I will uh, I will see you soon, and you have a good weekend if I don't speak to you beforehand. I am hopefully very close to... Where is it? Ah, there he is. Not to fight. Hey, uh, I, 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 we had one of those guys in before Beetle, but I uh, and I had to ban f for you. But I thought I, I saw that guy. I thought I'll leave it for you to to have your chance with the ban hammer. Where is he? Where is he? Oh no 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 no! Come on, we must be close. Oh, if I die now, that's entirely my fault. I threw that grenade. Ooh, there we go. Eat this. Come on, Dick. Come on, come on, die. Precisely what I was thinking, mate. Eat this. How many grenades does he have? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's still getting up, isn't he? Lazarevich! How is this still going on? Oh my god. 
you you guys in chat will tell me if I have to change tactics at any point, right? Because at the moment I'm just running in circles. Hoping for the best. And, and, and ever so, it's getting harder and harder every time to not die. I will not. I will survive like a rat. Damn it, there was nowhere I could go from that. I will crush you. Please tell me that we've saved some progress in that fight. I, I don't know where he is. There? Back to the beginning? Oh no, really? Okay, fine. I'm thinking pistols, like, all I need is a single shot. I'm thinking pistols more helpful here. Come and get me. Okay. I mean, so I, I felt like I was quite close to the end of that line, so it's not undoable. I think I'm going to be more picky with where. Where is it? Oh, balls. He's there. I don't like that. I'm going to say more picky with where I explode these things. To be fair, he might not give it a chance. Oh no, he is well on my tail here. He's not going to give me the chance to be picky, is he? Yeah, you're not allowed to blow your own thing up. This is actually really good because I am, like, it's a relatively simple boss fight, you know, in mechanics, but I am running for my life the entire time. And I adore it. one not so much I don't think I, I I don't think I've ever been well I've been successful once on it I think but generally I think because he fires his gun near it most of the time doesn't work out for me come on then oh piss off close behind, isn't he? Yep. I've got to get some distance on him. No, Nate, please. Stop grabbing ledges. I understand what you're going for. Not helpful. Right, he doesn't go that way. He runs up and over here. I'm learning his path. You will not stand in the way of destiny! What about in the way of Destiny 2? Which I've never played. 
But to hear is good. Played the first Destiny. Thoughts exactly. I'm not sure whether counting how many times I'd hit him would actually be helpful to me. I want to say it probably would not. Where is he? Do you think he could, like, please just continue running the same circle and not going off the beaten path? Just for me. We have so got this. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to know how close I am to the end of these boss battles. Because I'm not sure if that's just tempting me to... Uh, get, um, I can't even think of the word. Careless. Trip mines I could do with, you know. Just trip mines I could leave by those so they go off when he goes past. Oh, shit. That, that's what killed me last time and that's what's going to kill me this time is when he throws all those grenades. I don't want some of that. Right, this must be around about where I was last time then. Oh, I can't see him. Ah, now I can see him. I think I need to get some distance on him. Because he's running, I think I'm going to have to get the distance on him and then turn around and do the shots. Just as long as he doesn't. Come on. Oh, I don't like it. I don't know where he is. Ah. Oh. Is he still running the same? He must still be running the same path, please. Always shoots that one. He always shoots that one. Right, fine. Oh, my thumb is actually starting to ache from holding in sprint. Oh, that one's gone. Awesome. Awesome. Love to hear it. I mean, I don't, but... I've got to be close, right? I mean, nobody answer that because I'll probably hate the answer, but... I've got to be close. Right, the thing up there doesn't exist anymore, so that one's not going to work on it. This hasn't grown back yet, that's not going to work on it. It's maybe going to have to be this one? I hate it as a concept, but hey, the one time it worked, fantastic. I wonder if I'm just literally going to have to do that. You know, just don't even look to see if he's there, just pop a cap in that explodey sap's ass. Did I do it? Did I do it? Sarvich! Not 
think I am a monster. But you're no different from me, Drake. How many men have you killed? How many just today? That's it, boy. And he Not raises valid touch. points. No mercy. Do it! No. No. I'm going to suddenly grow a conscience and <laughs> just be like, you no, I will not kill have you. The will. Maybe not. But they do. No! <laughs> oh, good. We're, we're taking the moral high ground and just letting him get beaten to death by horrendous death. Oh, 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 oh. Holy shit. Oh, it's not even over yet. Fantastic news, don't you love to see it? Get up. Get up. No, why no, why are we facing I hate it. Why are we facing this way? My, my thumbs are not in the correct position for this. Why is the bridge of Shambhala, Shambhala so fucking... I didn't even know I was holding on to that. I thought I'd fallen. Well, okay then. That's what you do every day. No, you dot 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 me. I honest, I honestly thought I'd missed it by falling in. And I was like, why hasn't it failed me yet? Come on. There we go. I realise that time. What was I meant to do there? Not quick, not quick enough. How much quicker can I be? I'm running, like, there's only one running speed. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, fuck, 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 Give you not quick enough. There we go. Oh, not quick enough to get to the cutscene, obviously. Historical sight to the ground. What the ground. hell did you do back there? Destroyed it all. Well, you know, save the world. <sighs> you got her? Damn it, we gotta move faster. Let's go. Give us some right, of the Chintamani stone. Come on, stay with us. Give us some okay. of the magical healing stuff. Sure, she'll be Elena, a monster, don't do this. but. Elena! Oh, 
I'm like 99% sure she's not dead. Also, I thought this guy was going to be more of a fixture in this game. Yes. So, it's been a long, strange trip, hasn't it? Yes, it has. <laughs> Just a tiny bit. You know, you should play the hero more often. Suits you. Nah. <laughs> Tell me something, Nate. What? Do you love her? Aha! Uh -huh. Do you oh, love her? Not no, did you love her? Fine. She's alive. Really? It's all right. Just do yourself a favor, cowboy. Tell her. Tell her you love her. Tell oh, her you no. love her. My turn to walk away. But admit it. You're gonna miss this ass. <laughs> mm. Well, look who's not supposed to be out of bed. Yeah. He's a lousy patient. Stubborn ah, as all Sully, where the fuck have you been through this entire us. thing? <laughs> so, no giant sapphire. Once again, no. <laughs> and you're sure? We like Chloe. Yes. We do like Chloe. I like Chloe. Just a metaphor, I'm afraid. Metaphor Chloe is my favourite of the two. Well, else More Chloe, on. please. Just I know I'm like 15 yeah. years that the too late to, to be making cents. demands. <laughs> but more Chloe, please. Uh, which way'd Chloe go? See you later. Oh, no. mm -hmm. <laughs> You're a dirty old man, Sullivan. Uh-huh. <sighs> Chloe gets her own game, doesn't she? So, How about a whole game? Yeah, exactly, yeah. A whole game. I will take a whole game of Chloe. Chloe and I other female you. person who I am yet to meet. Yeah. Uh -huh. But who also, I believe, is a badass. We'll find out, I guess. So where do we go from here, huh? Where do we go from here? I don't know. <laughs> she I is. That awesome. Ahead. I am glad to hear it. Of course not. <laughs> but then again, neither have I. Good. So, on a scale of one to ten, how scared were you that I was going to die? Four. Like Eleven. Four? Yeah, why? Four. A four. Yeah. You were at least an eight. An eight? You were a total eight. An eight? Those guardian things were an eight. Are you kidding me? Yeah, those were terrifying. What's a ten? Clowns. <laughs> clowns Would you there? over my death? I, I hate clowns. clowns. I hate clowns. Oh, my word. You're a clown, Nate. No. no, you thought I was no, gone. No. Yes, you did. No, I, I saw you, you shed tears. No. You shed a bunch of them. Tears? Mm -hmm. It was raining. No, it was not. You were unconscious. It was, it was raining. It was, it was totally sunny out and you were bawling. It wasn't sunny. You were unconscious. Whatever. I kept your tears oh, in a jar. Bants. Epic fruit. I'll give you a Epic five. Bants. Epic Bants. Well, there we go. Uncharted 2. Finished. I was going to say what did we think, but I'm the one who uh, was playing this for the first time. What did I think? I loved it. You were definitely alright that that was better than the, uh, the first one. Nicely timed, exactly. It's like I'm a professional. I'm 100% not. Don't anyone get any ideas. Yeah, that was fun. That was really fun. Hmm. Music's really good in this game as well. I have to give it that. Right, well. Well, well, well. Whew. We got. Ah, that's it. That is the end. So, right back at the beginning. Let's have a look at the bonuses real quick, because I'm interested. Skins, what we got? Drake Street Clothes, Drake High Skier, Winter Gear, Drake Donut Drake. Oh, that's the fat Drake, isn't it? Mm. You feel like the music for two is the most recognisable. 
That's fair. Render modes. Black and white. Sepia tint and next gen filter. Okay. Interesting. Art galleries. Concept art. Ooh! Jake's got a bit more of a beard in that one. Drink pose. Chloe Fraser pose. Ooh, work it. Chloe Ideation. What did you call her? Chloe Outfit Ideation. Okay. Kind of like the first one. I kind of like the first one a lot. Beach bar. Beach bar again. Museum. Sewer. Just moving our way through the game here, aren't we? This was a really good game. I really enjoyed this. I'm just I'm just looking back through this and I'm seeing all the little bits that we played through. And remembering them. And it was it's been good. This has been a really good game. Further dagger. Cool. Well. Well, tweaks. What have we got? Fast motion, slow motion, mirror world, flip world. No, no gravity. Interesting. Hard or higher. Hard or higher. Cool. But yeah, um, that is, as they say in the business, that. Don't know what business, but. But yeah, I, I reckon we've had a really good time there. I have at least. Um, Definitely, at some point, we'll get around to playing Uncharted 3 and then Uncharted 4. Uh, whether it'll be immediately or not, not sure. But uh, we will we will see. I'll have a think on that one. But uh, we will be back tomorrow uh, with our Friday 1st, which is, in fact, Knights of Pen and Paper, which I know next to nothing about. But I believe it's turn-based and based in D&D. &D. So I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. We'll see what it's like. Um, but yeah, we'll be back with that tomorrow at 7 o'clock for anyone who's interested. If you want to pop along and see that. Um, and then we'll be back again. Friday, Friday, Friday. Oh yeah. Um, back again next Tuesday and next Thursday. Both at 7.30. Games for those uh, as yet to be announced. As um, played some... Well, I don't know whether I'm going to start Uncharted 3 or not, and also I don't know what my plan is for Tuesday. I still don't have a regular game there. We've basically, well, this week we played um, Sea of Thieves, so there's nothing regular gone in there yet. But we'll, I'll work something out eventually. Maybe it'll be more Sea of Thieves, who knows. But all that's left for me to say is thank you very much everyone who's popped in tonight. It's been a fantastic stream. We've had some good chats. Uh, we've had a couple of new followers. It's been fun. I've had a whole load of fun, and I hope you guys have too. Um, but all that's left for me to say is I hope you guys all have a fantastic rest of your night if you are not immediately going to collapse in bed like I am. Uh, oh, oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I've, I've had a fab stream too, so I'm glad you guys have too. But, uh, yeah, as I say, all that's left is... If I don't see you before the weekend, you have a great weekend, and you take care of yourself. Nighty night, Beetle. Nighty night, everyone else. I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much, and good night. <laughs>